Greetings, oh. greetings and welcome. I am Joffrey, and this is the Avari stream. Uh, <laughs> I would be on the game right now, however I um, may or may not have accidentally filled up my primary drive with way too many random mod files for Skyrim of all things, I'm sure. Most of you will know what that's like. So, again, like every other Joffrey stream, we need to start slightly later than I anticipated. <laughs> but as you can see, I got it. I got it, you know. Hello. Hello, bright Nazgul. Uh, oh, no, I just realized I probably still have the music on. I'm probably going to launch this, get on the main menu, and it's going to have the music playing. Whoops. I need to learn how to mod music folders. Because if I can figure out how that works, then I can update the mod that, um... The mod that, that uh, was made that lets you replace all the Lord of the Rings music with... The... Ooh, that was loud. All the Lord of the Rings music with vanilla tracks. But that mod has been extremely outdated for a long time now. Ah, no, it's just that I've got my volume, my computer's volume way too loud. Yes, that should be fine. Yes, hello, hello. Game. Ah, yes. I am the Mr. Streamer man, yes. This is a good, good time. Good time to you too. Because I'm sure it will be many different times for many different people, wherever they are. I shall ping people and uh, post links. People will know they shall find me. Right. I put in the fan media folder, but I maybe I should be maybe I should just be putting the, the <laughs> my links to these streams in the previews folder because uh people probably would want to see them there. Huh. I just feel a little self conscious about that. And then I will actually ping people in my own server. Now, if I was, like, at all good at streaming, I would, of course, have done this all before I start talking to you. But, you know, I'm not, so you're stuck with it. It's 5 p.m. for Nazgul and... Uh, 7 p.m. for the person who... I, I see you all the time, but I have no idea how to say that name. Uh, seeing as it's in Cyrillic. Google thinks it's Arthur, so... The, the first the first part of the name is Arthur at least so maybe I'll just call you that unless you say otherwise ah it is it is you're, you're, I see I see so here we are we have Aran Lanthier Athrad don't ask me what Athrad means I have no idea it's not my job to know. I don't care about elves that much, if I'm gonna be honest. But I, but you know, I'll still play them because they are very cool. And someone needs to show them to you. None of the other devs seem interested in showing. I'm not actually a dev. I'm just, a, I'm just a contributor for now. 
but no one else on the team seems particularly interested in showing this stuff off. So, someone has to. Oh, they're so elves, you know, they're, they're so uncool. What on earth? He looks like David Bowie? Yes, he does. He looks aggressively like David Bowie. It's hilarious. It almost makes me think that it was intentional. <laughs> How good are the penny at expanding? Because, you know, canonically, they're isolationists. But they also have some pretty good men-at-arms. They do. They do have some pretty good men-at-arms. I will say that. They have the shittiest elven units. If you compare them to, you know, typical, this is a Joffrey stream, and it's a, it's an early access Joffrey stream, so vets of the channel will know that uh, this means that you're going to be forced to listen to me talk for a long time before we actually do anything. And seeing as we're dealing with the elves here, before the elves have been released, that's doubly so. Um, okay, so, if we take a look at, say, what is... What is up with my computer's performance lately? I swear. 94% memory usage. Why is CK3 so heavy on my memory usage lately? This is so weird. What the heck is this? Should not be using seven... It's using all these several gigabytes. What the hell is this? Yes, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know that, um... Yeah, their men at arms is intended to be the most shitty. Um The man himself. Who is Athrad? What is an Athrad? Yeah, I don't know, but I, I, I guess he I guess it means Starman. That's 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 pretty I mean his his house words are the people of the stars walk on. But we'll we'll get. We will get to um Nalorniath's shitty uh men at arms because they they have the worst men at arms of the elves so here are the funny the funny wood elves sylvan sylvan elf peoples they've they've got their weakest the weakest of course being the skirmishers um still extremely good because all elven units get 100 percent attack and defense we'll get to them we will get to them we'll talk about nalorniath's units in a second so if you look at uh thranduil here he doesn't actually have any stat boosts to his His military units, all of his boosts come from just being an elf and just standard domain buffs, which elves get a pretty decent amount of. But, um, you see, size 40. There's only 40 dudes per here. I wish, I wish I had, you know, you know, a good way to have started off this stream would have been for me to showcase the Noldor units too, because the Noldor units are the absolute most cracked of all elves. But, um, yeah. yeah. They've, they've got all... They cover pretty much all your bases as elves. Because you focus on men-at-arms a lot. But they have they have cocaine levies as well, uh, as I refer to them, because they've got, you know... Two, <laughs> they've got a 100% boost to attack and defense on their levies, so all their levies are literally twice as effective. Absurdly powerful, but... Anyway, Sylvan Rangers, they're just Sylvan natives of Mirkwood. They... Light infantry. Good stat line. Effect, same effectiveness everywhere. Not very expensive at all to upkeep. That's the elven way. At swordsman, exactly what you'd expect. It's pretty standard. Nothing nothing too strange here. But you get to the Philodagnir. And these dudes are slightly smaller in number than the swordsman. Uh, however, um, they more than make up for that with the fact that even though they don't counter spearmen, they are instead glaive-wielding dudes who are effective against cavalry and monsters. They're they're the funny spinny, the spinny glaive anime warrior dudes from from the uh, the film, the Lord of the Rings films. 
they're, and because they have epic anime glaives, that means that they're effective against monsters. You know, that's how that works. Noldor, um, there's no Noldor on the map right now. However, they're mana... So, sorry if I was misleading you there. The, um, the Noldor... There are no Noldor characters on the map right now. However, you can play as a custom Noldor. And if you play as a custom Noldor, you'll get their men-at-arms. Uh, remove the vanilla men-at-arms. Uh, no. That is just for the elves. It's specifically the elves that do not get to recruit vanilla men-at-arms. Because elves need... They, they, they've, got, they've got an entire roster. This is an exception, not the norm. It's it's really difficult to do this and make it function. So it has not it's it's not the intention for this to happen for every faction at least for now. But um, elves need it because if if elves were able to recruit standard light infantry, they would be ass, and we do not want that. I have never heard the term vineyard before, but um, uh, we also have. The friggin' elk riders? Because of course we do. We have <laughs> elk riding heavy cavalry with all the effectiveness. They're effective against everything. It's elves. Elves are really good. So. And would you believe me if I told you that he's got my least favorite men at arms? Like I, he's he's got the he's got the glaive wielding anime dudes and the royal elk riders. Still my least favorite. Also, also I'm I'm the one who made all of the all of the two D. I made all the two D art for the for the men at arms except eh, except the archers. I didn't make the the green greenwood archers. Other than that, I made all the rest of them. Yes. So. Um. Yeah, he's actually my least favorite men arms. We, let's go to Lothlorien. I know I've shown them before because I played Lothlorien as my first stream, but um, I will go through them again because uh, Lothlorien has the best so far on the map. Best so far. Vanyar. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, no, yeah, no, none of none of them. We got no playable Vanyar, that's for sure. But I mean, I mean, technically we have. Um, if you're, if you're talking about, um, if if you want to get technical about things, we we we've, we've got Kirdan, so we, you know, we we've got Kirdan and and um, technically, what's his face? Um, because he's not actually on the map, but you know we've we've got Kirdan in in Mithlon with its fancy event background background now, um, and also Imladris technically exists as well. Who who do we blame for the elk? I don't remember. I I used to know who we were supposed to blame for the elk existing, but I don't quite remember. A lot of new cultural men at arms. Yep, that is correct. I wasn't saying that he was Vanyar. I was saying that he's Noldor. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't I didn't get through my thought process. What I was trying to say is that he, he we have technically multiple Noldor. That's what I was getting at with the fact that Kirdan and Elrond. I I'm not that illiterate in Tolkien. I swear. I swear I know. Uh but yes, yes, we've got um all the different elves that are in have their own units and again mercifully i've learned enough about ai art to give these fuckers their own artwork and it i was so pleased because one of the devs handed me the, the one of the devs suggested they're just like here take this file this is a 
this they're, they're just, they just straight up were like, here's here's the background for the um terrain. And they're like, oh, that's not it. Huh. Wonder which one it was. They they just handed me a uh, I think it's an event background for for a um for events that happen in a, in Lothlorien. They're like, here, take this. Put put the units on that. And then <laughs> I worked off of that, and uh, they look decent for the most part. Ray L's, yes. Eh. Close enough. He's in charge of... He, he's... 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 He's the closest that you get to a King of the Noldor, so... Because most of the Noldor live in... in Mithlond, so... Uh, which means that even though he personally isn't, by the standards of the game, he has to, uh, recruit them. Yes, um, even the skirmishers of, of Lothlorien are absolutely nuts. Look at these stats, and remember that these, these are their skirmishers. Their skirmishers counter skirmishers. Their skirmishers counter other skirmishers and heavy infantry, of course. Their swords just just big, the big old, two-ended swordy boys, from the film. Nothing too special about them. Their spearmen, also counter spearmen. Mm hmm. The archers, skirmishers, monsters, light cavalry, heavy cavalry. Lothlorien does not get an anti-monster unit. Because their archers are the anti-monster unit. If Dol Guldur comes at you with spiders, because they get spiders, if you didn't know, um, just just throw archers at them. <laughs> Knights of Amroth and Lothlorien, and, you're, you're, and you're, you're like, why why are Dol Amroth knights here? <laughs> Freaking out, what is this? Yeah, yeah, Dol Amroth is called that. Dol Amroth is called Dol Amroth because of the the King Amroth that these knights are named after as well. It's it's a whole the whole thing. Um, but yeah, these are um, probably the best cavalry unit in the entire mod so far. I don't think that there is a stronger cavalry unit in the uh, anywhere in this mod. Um, now, if you got them as humans, they wouldn't be as good. If you recruited these as humans, they wouldn't be as good. But um, elves have absurd potential as well. You can you can crank up your unit's effectiveness as elves a lot. Knights of Numenor hidden in the files. They're not as good, though. <laughs> you think the Knights of Numenor are as good as the Knights of Amra? No. Nah, 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 nah. Oh no! Don't worry, don't worry. I'm 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 the I'm the dwarf lover. I'm the dwarf lover on the team. I've made sure to talk to people about that. No, no elk. No, no, no freaking boars and goats. It's it's one hundred percent no. There's no chance. Dwarves are probably not going to get any cavalry, but they're going to have absolutely cracked in infantry units. Um. We'll see though. We'll see what what I can, we'll see what I can manage to convince people to let me do for for dwarven men at arms when we get to that. We'll see. I want I want that. I want that Alma. But you know we're gonna have to get th to that question when we come to it because that's still a long way off. And there's a lot of different dwarven clans. I want to help them look make be cool in all the different ways I can. But we're just gonna have to get to that when we come to it. So for now, we're going to finish off talking about the elven men-at-arms that are actually on the map with the Penny. The the Goofy, the Goofy Avari that are on the map. The uh, the rest of the Avari. Ugh. The, uh... The rest of the Avari are vaguely over here. Um, the, the, um, 
the main um, Avari kingdom is going to be in this spot here, which, as you can vaguely see, has been mapped out to be a, a big forest. So, theoretically, somewhere around here, we'll see what it looks like once we actually get there, but uh, somewhere, you know, in the shadows of the, uh, the Orokani Mountains will be uh, the big forest. And that's that, you know, you look at Nalorneith, compare that to this, um, surrounding what's left of Lake Evendim. Uh, Evendim? Fucking hell. I'm so dumb. That, this is Evendim, isn't it? No. Ah, oh, what is, what is going on with my head? But, um, that is, that is definitely Evendim. What is... Yeah, okay, okay. I was right the first time. Um, what's this mountain range by Khan? It's just call it's just the mountains of Khan. They do have a name, I think, but no one cares. Evendim is the lake in Eriador? Oh no, I was not. <laughs> I was not right the first time then. Dumb. Average Angrim fan. Hey, hey. Yo, yo, I swear I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. Okay, um, crown authority, boom. But, um, also, not council. Men at arms, here we go. Um, Penny, Penny. One of the Avari tribes, the Penny are descended from members of the host of Tareg, who settled the lands of Emen Rune on the eastern shores of the inland sea and were primarily of Nel Yarin heritage. They took for their lord Lanthir, one of the captains of Tareg at the Battle of Palisor. The Penny alternate between periods of interaction and seclusion from both their own elven kin and others, often waxing and waning with the moods of their prince. So, um, yeah, most of the time, Lanthir just kind of sits around and does absolutely nothing historically. <laughs> I'm not hiccups now. Of all the time, of all the times, they have a unique heritage, which gives them, which gives them their men at arms, um, and makes them not want to marry other elves because they kind of like to just sit around. Kui Venen, oh, of course it is. Of course, that's what the lake is. Aside from the dwarves, they're added in four point oh. Will there be any expansion of other areas? Ah. Uh, it's hard to say for sure what's going to be going on in 4.0 for map expansions, but the one thing I can, that I will I will guarantee you is that we are going to get the Misty Mountains. We're going to get the Grey Mountains and the Iron Hills. That is guaranteed, but I can't even guarantee you whether or not I I it's it's hard to say whether we'll go f for actually the um Angmarim range and going out to Mount Graham, but but what I can assure you is that we're going to have the Misty Mountains and the Grey Mountains going to the Withered Heath and the Iron Hills. So Yeah. I, I am a dwarf fan, I, so yeah, I'm excited for dwarves. I'm as excited to work on the dwarves as you are to play them, I am sure. Longbeards are my least favorite clan because they're so, they're the basic one. I, I want to work on everything else. Unfortunately, the longbeards are probably the most numerous. Actually, there might be more black locks, never mind. The black locks might be the biggest clan. There's, there's a stupid amount of them. But, moving along... My stupid I swear <laughs> they don't have skirmishers this whole time I literally made the men at arm art and I didn't even notice until now that they don't have a skirmisher unit that's that's hilarious so we've got the Nel Yarin swordsman 60 60 models um now keep in mind as well his units are actually better than um the other elves because he's actually a, a military focused character so he's got some bonuses to his men at arms effectiveness so bit of last gallon here greenwood swordsman compare them 
Um, they have 50 men to a model. His gets 60. Uh, but even with his buffs, they're still shitty. His units cost the same, but they're actually vastly weaker. I'm not... I am not gonna... I'm not going to start speaking in the tongues of the elves. It's not going to happen. So sit down. Quiet. Heh. Yes, yes, dwarf gang, dwarf gang. I know, I know. Any idea where you can read up on Rome's lore? Ah. I don't know. I don't know about a place where you can read up on Rome's lore other than... Um... Mm, Merp. Merp is what everyone talks about. Um, new Notion Club sometimes, but I think it would be Merp. Not Perp. Merp. Ah, uh, don't remember what MERP stands for, though. I just know that MERP's where people always tell you to go to. Uh, yeah, technically, you can... Yeah, you, you can read the histories in the mod as well. That's true. Middle-Earth roleplay. Ah, oh, I'm so dumb. Of course it's Middle-Earth roleplay. Yes. Yes. Um, the reason, like, it literally, this is a really tiny description for this men-at-arms unit, but you can see they don't really use swords. The, the Neliaran people, they don't really use them. So you look at their swordsmen, their swordsmen are trash by comparison. I think their pikemen are better, though. Are they? I don't know. The pikemen are more expensive. Maybe I need to complain about the balancing of their men at arms. What the hell? Um, yeah, their, their pikemen are more expensive than their swords. Like cavalry, heavy cavalry. 30, 40. 32, 40. <laughs> the swordsmen are just better, aren't they? What? I swear I thought the pikemen were better than this. What? <laughs> uh, Murph was a Tolkien estate licensed game in the 80s and 90s. Yes. yes, New Notion Club is also a good. So, we've also got... Yes, supposedly... Supposedly, we are adept wielders of the pike. I'm not convinced, though. For some reason, I thought that their pikes were better than this. Domain. Huh. Is it just someone else's pikes are bad or something? 40, 60... Huh. Very weird. Well, I'm not sure what... <laughs> I don't know what to think about this. This is, like, gonna change the way I play the Avari at this rate. Jeez. Could be. I don't know. I, I'll have to... The, um, the guy who works on Men at Arms balancing... I'll need to... I, I must I must usurp his position, but, but he's the lead dev, so... <laughs> I need to try and usurp the lead dev's position at men at arm creation <laughs> and, and balance them for him because he's he's made their their, their units too terrible. <laughs> oh, he does. He does use an Excel sheet to calculate their men at arms, but I don't know what he was going for because the, the pikemen are not actually 
better than the swordsman. Or maybe nah. Now I need to. I, I can't. I need to interrupt this this regularly scheduled programming to stare at sheet stare at stare at stats fifty two thirty five. What the hell is this? Gilded guard are just straight up better than Greenwood swordsmen. What is this? This is so weird. Oh, but there's more men in the unit. I am so confused. Such confuse. Like the sword the swordsmen have even more screen than the pikemen do. <gasps> ah, I'm gonna die. If you fight rune with their cav, the sword isn't though. That's very true. Very true. The, the Rune's cavalry is scary, man. Rune's cavalry is scary. I know, I know I just said, I know I just said that, that, um, you know, the Knights of Amroth are the best ca cavalry in the mod, but, um, okay, here, let me see. He's got, he's got Loke Innos Rim here. Um, and, um, um, he, these, this unit, the, there's only 20. There's only 20 per per stack, um, and they can only get up to a size of five. But um, base of 100 of 220 attack, 100 defense, 30 pursuit, 10 screen. They get terrain bonuses and malices. Ooh, <laughs> look in us rim, countering archers and skirmishers. Absolutely nutty as hell. Do not underestimate the Loke Khan. But yes, finishing, finishing this. We need to keep going. I know it's a struggle, but we've got we've got the Nelyar and Bo Bowman, who are probably the best of the three standard units for Nalorniath. Though uh, the Pikemen are probably the best for all around survivability. It's it's. It's possible, um, though, well, the base stats are better, but the, um, the Knights of Amroth are better at, in the end because they, uh, they have, they get more bonuses to their stats, uh, such as being an elf. But, um, that's right, another 15 minutes. It hasn't been 45 minutes yet. You still got another 15 minutes. So we've got the Bowman. Yes, this is the um, the standard combat style of the Avari Elves. Uh, Pike and bow. <laughs> if if these guys were in Anbanar, they'd be they'd be the Pike and shot Elves. <laughs> um, yes, very good units. Um, but yes, this is. This, though, one of, if not my favorite unit that they've got, the Neldoreth Border Wardens. Straight up, Elven Archer Cavalry. And they are effective against monsters. It's brilliant. I love this unit so much. Only Elven Archer Cavalry unit in the mod so far. Quite possibly the only Elven Archer Cavalry that's going to exist ever. But it's hilarious as a concept, and I love it so much. They have so much screen and pursuit as well to augment their just really good attack and defense. However, they do not get buffed by your buildings right now. Um, it's it's been <laughs> currently uh it, it it's been uh, missed uh for the elven buildings to actually buff your cavalry. Um, and finally, finally we get to the absolute most cracked unit that the avari have <laughs> the the new avari who are they're straight up lesser fey they straight up have a unit 10 man model 10, 10 models per unit monsters <laughs> 
They counter archers, skirmishers, spearmen, heavy infantry. They counter all of the fuckers. They got an art. That's right. That's right. You think you think I wasn't gonna let them have art? What is this nonsense? Let's see if I can pull up. I'll pull up the actual just file in a second. Do capture go to boom. You're not going to show now? Hmm. Why isn't it showing? That's weird. Um. Yeah, I know. I know. Lesser. Lesser Fae. Um. Very, very clearly Lesser Fae indeed. This should be the one. There we go. Now I can, I can, um, I can shill my own artwork now. I, 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 I love, I love learning how to use AI art for this shit. This is, so this is what the unit looks like. You can see it's there, but it's hidden by the stats a bit. This is, um, I'm so pleased. <laughs> With how this one turned out. This fucker, he is he is up in the water. He's gonna slap you. <laughs> He's gonna throw hands in a second. But yes, um the uh the border wardens also do. Though <laughs> he is he is he's gonna <laughs> he's pretty much T-posing on you. But um the uh the border wardens technically do as well. I just don't like them as much. It's it's not the best art. Especially if you if you look at it closer, but it's decent enough. I've done so many. You have you you folks have no idea how many. <laughs> yeah, I understand that AI art is is getting in trouble for for stuff like that, but. What do you think? I'm like ripping something out of the films and just straight up immediately using it? The closest thing to something from the films would be mm, so, uh, a cup, one of these units. This unit is the closest thing to something you'd see in, in the, the films. I think. Maybe the Greenwood Swordsman as well, but even then, we're not making any money here, so I <laughs> don't know what you are implying the issue is. So yes, um, New and Avari, Spirits of the River, they are Lesser Fae. Uh, the, um, the river spirits specifically here's an interesting little lore tidbit the river spirits are the primary ones there's barely any that aren't river and ocean spirits left in in middle earth um as far as you know non-nameless thing spirits goes but um new and Avari are still hanging around these the uh because of ulmo because ulmo is a chad and he protects he protects his 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 children, his little little babies, so he looks after them. That's why they're they're. Uh, the Bell Army boys are are definitely. I I like I like the Bell Army boys, but I I, I still haven't committed the Bell Army guys. I need to I need to um, solidify. Uh, fuck. Who do I? I don't remember if I got the go-ahead from from Loremaster Man for for their 
their current lore in, uh, interpretation that I've got, and I haven't actually balanced their stats yet, so they're not technically in the mod yet. Um, and it's always possible that they won't be. So. Ulmo is the widest of boys, yes. Now, we can actually prepare to start, act to start playing. So, here's the thing. As an elf, even as an Avari, we can choose to sail to Valinor. Lanthir has been here for a long time, and he is a Chad. He's a really good character. He's a veteran of Palasaur, uh, the extremely awesome battle that happened at the first Temple of Morgoth. It's stupidly long time ago. The, yeah, that took place in the east of Middle-earth. A um, lot of text here. Um, and there's a lot more entries here, including the first temple. and the, like. There's a lot of this shit to read. I'm not covering this right now, because as much as I make lore videos sometimes, I'm not covering this shit right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll do some lore videos on Realm's lore and how it interacts with the, the actual Lord of the Rings lore. So, at some point, I'll do some more of those, but for now, I'm not. You'll have to... Yeah. That's why I didn't read what comment. Hmm? There will be no Bell Army in the mod. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what, what's going to happen with them. But yes, we can we can sail west. Uh we can we can take the straight road and, and sail west across the Sundering Seas and join our kin outside of, of Arda. Wow. Um So we can we can just leave. Uh because Lanther's been here for a long time. And he, he's not really the sort of person to, to, like, actually go and get stuff done. He's not, he's not the sort of guy to get stuff done, even though he's got really good stats here. He's, he's done a lot. But he's not going to have any more kids. Yep, he's, he's, he's already married. He's not going to have any more kids, though. Here's his daughter and heir, though. Her stats aren't the greatest, but she's an angry girl, and she knows a lot about money. How does Out of Arda work when Valinor is literally... Shush! Yes, we know it's over there. Also, ignore the fact that it's red. It's not going to be red. None of us care. None of us care enough to change it yet. <laughs> but it's going to be fixed before you get your hands on it. It's just that literally none of us care enough to go and change it right now. <laughs> One of us cared enough. The lead tester cared enough to go and change the color of Medlo Chicane to be this this um caramel color and give them a new uh, banner <laughs> than to go and fix <laughs> Valinor from being red. Uh, but hey, I don't care, so <laughs> I don't blame him. But, um... What is gonna happen? Yes. Yes. We are going to sail west to Valinor. Lots of people are gonna be sad by this, but it's what's gonna happen. It, it's what has to happen. We gotta sail west. The time has come, because... It's time for new generation to take over and she's gonna she's going to lead us zeal time yeah no one cares enough yet anyone touching valinor risk of being excommunicated uh yeah yeah when the the, the the uh the elf loving devs are way too uh, involved in writing events right now the 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 dude 
the dude who likes the elves the most, the biggest elf simp on the team, is he, he's pumping out localization and, and events for elven courtroom stuff. But I don't do hold court events as the elves all that often because elven gameplay is so slow. <laughs> Actually, no, that's the opposite. I'm really dumb. Um, the time has come. I'm going to sail west. Sorry. Um, here is your unceremonious just... Yay! No special fanfare yet. Um, theoretically, someone could write an event where you get a bunch of just um, descriptive text splurged at you and your character looking all happy as, as with some colorful background being like, Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then and then you, you get deposed. But um, yes. She ascends the throne. She's beautiful beyond words. Wow. Wow. She's so hot. Um, anyway, uh, Lanthier is in Tyrion now. Woo! He's technically... He, look, he's over here. Guys, he's in the hills. Um, and now he has the Sail to West modifier. Neat. His wife is still hanging out, though. She's chilling. So that's the thing. Uh, nope. It gives no effects at all. I... Kind of think it should do something, but currently it, it, it doesn't actually do anything. Just, uh, I'm gonna give myself a crook in the neck at this rate, the posture I'm sitting at. But yes, now that we've sailed west, and I've got an itchy nose, we can begin our new rule. Um, that's right, she does not get a crown. Ah, that's right. I need to go and uh, automate and actually give her. Where is it? Where's the crown that I wanted to give her? Do do do. There is a specific really neat crown that I can't find. There we go. A var and circlet. There we go. When sailing west, will the player's spouse get modifiers? Uh, the AI never sails west. The AI does not do it. It's specifically for the player. Um, so there is no, like, extra chance of Lanthier's wife now sailing west. Uh, I can just go and make her sail west if you'd like. You know what, fuck I'll just do that. No, fuck it. Mother's gonna sail west too. Yep. And for some reason it moved my capital there. Um, no, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> the capital needs to be in Kara's Torn. The tier 3 elven refuge with the actual special building, Kava Mergala. Crafted lovingly over countless years, Kava Mergala stands as a testament to the strange situation of Nalorniath. Crafted by the joint efforts of the Fae of the Forest and the Penny, it is a great hall made of intermixed quartz and trees, such that it is difficult to tell where one begins and another ends. Though not of the great of great though not of great size, it stands as a testament to their union and their shared life together. So yeah, there there's there's lots of fae spirits in general in Nalorniath, but the uh, the river spirits are the only ones that are actually numerous enough to uh, throw hands. It's a bit weird that Spouse doesn't sail west with them. Well, she is landed. I I think that they might. Uh, they there's a good chance that they sail west. I think, but I don't I don't know for sure if they say what sail west if if you do um as a non landed character. 1k elves in a cave. That is not big. It's not that big. <laughs> 1,000 levies. It's, and, and 1,000 garrison. It's not that big. It's not, it's not that big of a cave. <laughs> kind of, kind of mid, to be honest. Oh, I can, <laughs> oh, I can automatically bump up my crowd authority now because I've been, inher I've inherited. Oh, that's hilarious, because she starts landed. <gasps> oh, that's great. 
her brother's landed, by the way. He's just ass and gets his lands revoked all the time. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go tell him to. Okay, for a second there, I was kind of sauce. It's like what? Romance? Me? What? Um, so here is the the way that elves work. Uh, yo, I should I should. Oh wait, what? Not me. You okay? So he's landed. I see. The fact that he's landed is throwing this off. So um, this is this is the thing about elves. Um, if you marry two elves that are both of a noble house, they will be their their children will be of whichever character's dynasty clicks the event clicks the decision try for children so that means that um if you've got two landed elven characters that marry i mean we're, we're literally siblings that's not going to happen but if if you do if you do have that happen where you've got two landed elven characters of, of of noble families um mash the try for children because <laughs> otherwise the other character will do it for you and your kids will be of their family maybe some devs can read up on oh, yeah. what the... okay big elf energy arrange marriage yeah yeah yeah. Um. So we're gonna find someone for brother. Uh, the, uh, we can't we can't just force him to marry someone though. So. Wait, what? What's what's a lady with? Well, not even I won't even look at stats. What's um? Because because he he is actually a failure of a human being. It's hilarious. He a human being. He's a failure of an elf. He never, he he never gets married. Uh, his sister always does. She always gets married and has kids. Armagor never does. It's hilarious to me that that's how it happens, but he just never does. Um, mm, compassionate absolver rapacious cynic unfortunately the the bleeder is is a man so we can't marry him to a bleeder but um we're gonna try take a bride from Kara Skeletha. i'll i'll just select some random elf for him to um ro try and romance oh of course of course he doesn't even want to because they're lowborn this must be why this must be why um yeah make contact with other elves Fun story about that. Um, we can't reach them. We don't... We don't know how to chat with them. So... I think, though... If we... Uh, we ourselves can, um... try it <laughs> well there's no way there's no way we're gonna we could marry Eladan. yeah we can theoretically romance Eladan. but I mean, I mean, there is technically Kyrdan, but but um, can't can't romance Kyrdan. He is not into women. <laughs> if not him, his bro. Where's this Elra here? Elra here and Eladan literally the same, except Eladan's better. Funny. Romance Elrond. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he is still... You can't... You can never have more than one wife or husband as an elf. Once you're married as an elf, no more. Doesn't matter what happens to them, you, you can't get any more. Um...
Uh, well, I mean, it's too perfect to try it, to not try and romance. Uh, Eladan, you're right. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Though it, it's it's just a little it's a little spooky. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't. It's the fact that he's from a he's from a big fancy noble family. Chance of children, none. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's how that works. Okay. Well, there's a good. You, you know what? We have to try because the thing is, he may well just shoot us down. He he he, he might be a dick like that. Um, we've got both avaricious and architect to start with, so we are well and truly on our way to being absolutely goaded with the stewardship. So the question is, what do we take as our focus? Do we finish off all the stewardship stuff now? We've got we've got good lifestyle experience in stewardship if we go anything else we will be extremely slow at learning it because um elves get minus 75 percent uh progress why none chance um none chance because uh elves don't have kids the same way as humans elves don't just Elves don't just, like, bump uglies. It, it's it's more complicated than that. Let's see, yeah. Mm, well, focus. And time to fill out the council. Uh, you are a good diplomat. You are also tiny, and you are not... You're tiny, but you're not a dwarf elf. As hilarious as that would be. Sargon, definitely the marshal. Let's get him on train commanders. Random dude number 13. You're good. You're good for stewardship. Ah, yes, random, random Noldor woman, number 15, uh, who has already been married. Um... Classic maneuver. Try to romance random subject to get <laughs> a subject elf <laughs> to someone else to get a better character for the job. Tolkien carefully explaining how elf sex differs from mannish one. Yeah, it's it's not spooky. Yeah, it's not it's not all that spooky. Okay, so. We can hold court. Once we've done that, we're gonna we're gonna immediately jump into war. I, I assure you, there is a war that we're gonna do right away. Try to get genius or someone smart. Well, I'm already romancing Elra here. Well, court musician. Sure. Music. Give her the death! Um, duels, duels, um, are a little wonky. For, for some of us on the dev team, it crashes the game, so. Up, 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 up. Yep, yep, okay. Uh, good to know, good to know. Uh, tragic that it happened, though. I probably shouldn't have risked it, because now I have to reload, but... Once once we reload, and we, and we deal with that event, um... We actually have a conquest to do right away. Because the... The Coast of Mist, Kugathavold... Um... I believe that's what it's called. The, the um... The Runic people... The, the Olgath people who are along the coast next to us, they're in our de jure borders. And we actually need that land because we need to we need to have access to the sea proper. Um, and once we do have access to the sea again, uh, we're going to be able to do the one and only event chain that uh, the 
Penny have? They actually do, in fact, have a bit of a quest. So we have the ability to um, try and regain contact with the our, our feather, fellow elves. So we essentially have, it's essentially a chain. I haven't even done it yet. Uh, so this is actually me testing it as much as showcasing it. Um, it sounds too, like it's working from what I know, but just don't tell Bryce that I'm, I haven't actually tested it before I'm doing this. But um, it's, it's an event chain where you send, you send your, your best elf off to, um, I think it's Thranduil. And you you say hi, and Thranduil will um he'll he'll um respond positively or negatively. You you just you you throw a party sort of, and you you try and convince him that that it's worth you know get, go, getting to be back on speaking terms. Uh, pepper executed insane hunter, reckless person. <sighs> Such a shame. I would have loved to get the Aspiring Blade Master trait. In fact, I'm salty. So, because it crashed, um, at... <laughs> I got it wrong. Give. Give. Heck. <laughs> what? <gasps> Uh, what am I doing wrong? That's what it says! And now I can't even find them. I'm so hopeless. I'm so hopeless, you guys. Did I put two spaces? Did I seriously put two spaces? I am so incredibly dumb. Holy sh Holy! Wow. 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 I- I don't deserve life. Yay. <laughs> okay, so... Send out an embassy to Elven Lands. This is our actual like, thing that we can do. So, yeah, we're isolated and we can't actually, like, reach... I don't even think... Yeah, we we, I, we wouldn't even be able to reach the uh, the other Avari elves once that area is added. So we're isolated without allies in our designs against the shadow that is rising. We must put aside our old rifts and approach our distant kin. We must send out an embassy. So to do this, we must completely control Nalorneith. Become... Become famous and have lots of cash. Yes, that's why streamers need an audience because we're trash. Absolute garbo. Uh, let's begin bumping up our development here. We'll do that just for a bit because as soon as we start conquering stuff, we're going to be switching over to convert. Uh oh. Oh, I think I've got the Elven conversion speed on faster than it's supposed to be. Whoops! Okay. Well, okay, first thing, before we actually declare war, let's build some stuff. Let's go for... Hmm... Bow maker? Or is there the guild hall? The guild hall. This is an extremely important building. Very expensive to make. 
but the bonuses are delicious as hell. So yes, super expensive, but it is well worth the cost. Uh, at the very end, if you've got a legendary elven city, the absolute max, which is really hard to get to actually, you need a lot of elven holdings, uh, makes you, yeah, it's supremely good. Um, even the most primitive of elven societies have their own hunters and trappers. <laughs> we are the primitive elves that it is referring to. So sad. Same price as every other building? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? El elven buildings? like Down here, the, the, the buildings are really expensive, yes. But these are um, the ones, the, the, they get super expensive as you go farther down because you unlock them at higher tiers of elven buildings. The the the, the ones up here are just the, the lower tier ones that you can build in, in your smaller holdings. But the uh, the ones that get more expensive are the ones that you need a, like, elven stronghold. Because the, the sanctuary tiers, you can build the weaker ones in. Strongholds, you can build the um, the middle ones in. And once you've got to a city, to the city tier, that's when you can build the uh, the supremely expensive ones. Uh, in fact, uh... Not notify me when I can extort my subjects, please, because we're going to be yoinking as much money as possible. Uh, first thing... <sighs> okay, uh, I forgot. Yeah, it's extremely expensive to be declaring wars, so we're going to need to... Yeah, we're going to need to do, like, all the things that can get us prestige. Yes, Declaration of Love. Oh! We have Athrad Gillet's harp. We have Daddy's harp. He gives us extraordinarily good artifact for romancing people. There's no way. We, we even got max romance schemes, plus one. This exquisite, unusually shaped heart belongs to Lanthir Athrad Gilith, king of the Penny of Nalorniath and greatest singer east of the mountains. On it, he composed the epic Athrad Gilith and the Spiders from Lascalan, a mythical ballad about the tribulations of his people in their current home. Yes, uh, romance. Who, who is who is it? Guitar. It, it's 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 a guitar I guess I guess it's it, it's yeah it's essentially it's essentially um yeah or uh, Lanthier has a guitar yeah it's it's her it's it's David Bowie's guitar yes yes it is it is an unusually shaped arc it's a guitar. It, it's David Bowie's guitar. Yes, you figured it out instantly. I don't know how you figured it out instantly, but you did. You you all instantly figured out that it's David Bowie, and then you figured out that it's a harp. Good, good job then. We're gonna, we're gonna sing, we're gonna si no. We're gonna sing him a, a, a love ballad because we um. We have we have a dad's guitar. Uh, technically we could we could. Theoretically um. <laughs> romance Elver here at the same time. Ah, uh, please. Elro here, Senpai, notice me. Uh, take all of their stuff. We're gonna be, we're gonna be yoinking all of their things. Sing love ballad to him, too. Yes. We're romancing both of the brothers. What does she want? She wants to be my bodyguard? Kind of need that money, but you know what? Sure, we're gonna we're gonna you know anything that makes an elven playthrough harder is is worthwhile, honestly. 
And of course, hunt. Need prestige, and we're going to meditate in seclusion once that's done. Romance Elver here. Just in case. No, no, we need to romance. We're romancing both of them because you need to romance someone to marry them as an elf. Yoinka, the, the, the skull of the mighty stag of Lance Naugrith, and, and to get lots of prestige from the hunt. Yay. Uh, boom. Boom. Yes. Alright, what's going on? Feline hunter? Yes, give give me a kidder. I would like a kidder. Um Ah, uh, we definitely need more events for this. Elves, um... Currently, elves essentially only have one event that happens um, with their um, romance, their, their courtship stuff, and it's just, it's just approaching them while they're meditating, so... I will sit beside him. He's brave. I will sit beside him and meditate together. Yes. <sighs> yeah, you're trying to romance him? I, I don't believe you. Zero percent chance of winning the duel because you've seen the light of the two trees. <sighs> Oh my god. Literally, I'm bribing someone. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Um. Let's. Let's. Divine the stars. Sure. Yeah, exactly. He wants, he wants me to slay a wolf. I will do that. And I fucked up. Anticipating great battle. Oh, well that's not what I wanted, but okay. Um, now I will meditate in seclusion. Let's meditate in the forests. Oh, they've allied the Olgath people. These guys are awesome, by the way. Eventually, I'm gonna get. I want to give them some some special content once we expand the map further east, because uh, this dude is he's the he's of House Boros Organush. Uh, he is the last. You know, this is this is the branch, the last surviving branch of the family who used to rule a chunky as hell Easterling Empire that went that covered all this area. Huge, huge amount of land. Essentially, all the land. Why did the draw go away? Um, not borders. Uh, he is the last. Yeah, yeah. It was all of this. Essentially, from Olgathavol there, all the way around here. This it, It's like that whole area was this one empire, and he, he is the descendant of, of that realm, which is pretty darn neat. Hello! Hello! Malo. Yes, good to see you, as always. Uh, I will look up the book for... Bazor. Bazor? No. Ah, yeah, I got it. I did get it. This is the, uh, this is the empire title, um, of, of said empire that this dude is the heir to. There's no, there's no way to get it at the moment, but, um, oh, it doesn't have title history either, but, uh, we have a bunch of Easterling empires. Uh, and yes, of course, as he says, work in progress. It's just, um, we, we have a, a vague, 
um, map. Like, if you zoom in, it's it's not that great at all. Uh, but it, it's a it's a vague idea of what the lands are going to look like. Um, uh, this is not what Forward Wraith will look like, for example. It's all... Um, it's, a little, it's a little more snowy than that. Um, but yes, uh, Bazor Ganush is a neat empire title that you can... Uh, theoretically, eventually, I'll, I'll have stuff for you to restore it. As that family. Just like how um, you can... He's still around. We barely actually played at all. <laughs> Margos isn't in charge yet. Uh, I, I, I did not do good. Uh, time to... Now that we actually have prestige. We're going to a yoink. Which one is this? Is this Olgathavold? This is Kugathavold. And this is Gazar Kug. Yes, we're going to take Kugathavold. The uh, Mishti... The Misty for... Needs more white? Yeah, yep, it does. It does. It's all too green. It's all too green! I mean, you, you, you wouldn't disagree with that, right? You would, Surely you wouldn't disagree that it needs... It needs more snow, right? Unpleasant pleasantries. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, don't worry, Remorod. I'm definitely not romancing both... Both, um... Eladan and El here at the same time with with the help of uh, David Bowie's guitar. Um. Oh, great! Unfinished lock. Um. <laughs> become rival with Elrond. Yes. I am a I, I, I am a dick. She's not a pleasant woman. That is definitely what she would do. She'd be like, Enough! You're he, he doesn't like you. Elrond is being boring as f yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait a second, what why can't I Romance success, please. No! <laughs> I failed. No. It's okay, though. We still got... We still got the, the older brother, though. There you go. Could put myself on the army. I think I'll do that. Ah, yes. Look at them. Look at these goobers. What are they doing? Still have you on train commanders? Maybe I want them to reduce the army maintenance while we're at war. When we're not at war, he can train commanders and grab me some potentially decent elven characters. Yes. Thank you, I suppose. Hunter's Guild constructed. Yay. Uh, let's go slap them. I probably won't want to actually lead the army once we get there, though. Yeah. want to make sure we win. No need to be risky. What can we build here, then? You see, we actually... um. It's, it's all mountains here. It's a, this big old cliff. You you can't get up into the forest from there. You need to go through these these um, gaps in the, the, the rough terrain. Yeah. M mommy. Mommy is trying to advise me. Sure. But as soon as an event happens where she's like, you need to do this. I'll listen to her advice, but as soon as she tells me what to do, I will slap her upside the head so fast. You will sleep undisturbed. Good, I managed to stay awake. Poetic license. There's no man lovelier than... Yes, truly there is no man lovelier than Sanistea. He is, he is thick as fuck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Across the sea, she just... She wide walks across the ocean. She's like, yo, yo, you're doing it all wrong. 
Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, none of my compliments ever do him justice. What do I compliment him on? Charming demeanor? Because he's, he's like the most wholesome man you'll ever meet. Exquisite features. His reply will be based on how well the poem suits him. What do, what do, what do we compliment? What, what do we... What do, what do we tell him? Uh, do we comment on his his endless wisdom, his exquisite features? Is he just a wholesome dude? Is he hot? Is he a is he a hunk of he's a he's a big old hunk? Or is he, is he um he's he is he's smart. His thickness? Yes. We'll tell him that he is the thickest of boys. He does not respond. He does not respond to being told that he's thick. What do I what do I do? Why did I win? Captured air. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll just end it at that then. Yeah, we'll... No need to like murder his air or something. That would be completely unreasonable. Um. And now we have to hand this out to some uh humans. The humans. And that is an ancient lady. She is going to just die and give it back to us, which is kind of annoying. Uh, in fact, uh, all of these people are women who are uh, probably too... Yeah, they're all just going to die. Um, well, that's that's not the best, but okay. And Scar, he is scarred, yes. He is a, he's a Chad. Nope, we can't grant these lands to our folks because... Uh, the, these are human lands with human holdings, and we cannot hand out human holdings to elves, just as we cannot hand out elven holdings to humans. If you conquer elven lands as a human, you cannot give that land to humans, unless, of course, you are evil. Because if you're an evil prick, this land will instantly be converted to, uh, your culture and faith. So... Well, I mean, we are still teaching them our ways. We're we're, we we give them our religion when we land them, so. Uh, wait, 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 what? What's up? What's up? You can be good conquering elves? Yeah, well, hey, even, even runic faith is people apart. So yeah, if you're, if you're, um, either in the children of Iluvatar family or you're a people apart so you know if you're if you're neutral or better you you have to hand the elves out, lands out to elves can't you do like a glorfin style genocide um no uh that does happen with um orcs That happens with orcs if you if if um if any person of a good religion conquers orcs they automatically get converted to your uh to your t your stuff so so elves if, if you're an elf and you you conquer the you know I mean you better if you're if you're Thranduil you better conquer the mountain orcs uh it will instantly become elven holdings of your type same with Gundabad as a result or if you you go all the way to Mordor you'll you'll turn all of the orc stuff into elven holdings which is hilarious but it's, it's how it works um I'm coming for you my love please no I felt a romance with both of Elrond's kids what is this nonsense can I just try again I will I will fucking do it again yeah That should probably have a cooldown, but I will just, I will fucking do it again. And we will now need to wait for five years before we declare war again, yes. Uh, we only have a 50% chance to romance you? What is going on here? We got the harp. It's not increasing? It's not increasing our odds? What is this nonsense? We don't have better chances because of our, our harp. The artifact is broken.
time to, um... I need to screenshot this. tell the artifact man that he is fucked up. He's fucked up! Sustain myself on nothing but love for days? Yes. I succumb to my needs. This man is so based. He's based as fuck. I, I just, I just want, I just want him to love me. But he doesn't respond when I tell him that he's a thick He's a thick boy, he won't respond, and when I- I just- He forces me to starve myself for him. <laughs> what am I to do? What am I to do? Oh. Yes, yes, please. Um... Yeah, it takes nine years. We gotta start building. We're gonna have to start construction on some elven holdings in our in our capital here as soon as I can because it it takes nine years to finish, and that's with having uh, someone increasing development in the county. Ooh, larger herd, please. No, I'm fa I'm failing everything. Forty percent chance. I'm coming for you. No. I'm gonna try again. I'm doing this again. He's liking me less and less. That's not enough to dissuade me, though. Success chance, 25%. He hates me now. I will... <laughs> I haven't chested that yet. Please! Have a good opinion of me. I know I just said I want to build an elven holding, but we make lots of money, so it's okay. No! Stop taking my money! No, Kyrdan! Kyrdan's showing up too now! I will take his place. I will, I will suffer. You know, I, I, I don't want to be mean. I do not want to be mean to Kiridan. He, he deserves, he deserves me to be polite to him. Oh my gosh. Why does everyone want to duel me for, for love all the time? Making, you're making fun of him, because he's he's a you call you call him a an insufferable sick of it. Beat her ass, nice. Beat her ass too. That's right. Yup, the truce is over. Thank you, thank you. Who are you, Lady Mo Moriel? You are. You are wonderful. Thank you. I will I will scream. I will scream if you do that. I will I you you no. No, you don't get to go no. When the last alliance bookmark happens, if you if you conquer Mordor as, as no. <laughs> you lay with it. What? Why does that work?
So that means I should theoretically Yep. I can uh Sanastia guy it was was too slow. Actually though No! Fuck. Oh no! Okay, this also needs to be fixed. I'm finding so many th issues now. What is all this? Oh, that's not the thing I want to take a screenshot of. Um, this. I'm finding so many issues right now. I swear I play the elves. I swear I play elves. Well, I'm sorry, Daddy, dearest father. Um, but this is the only way. <laughs> he doesn't. He he can't. He can't be allowed to stay as the. Ah yes, like an Imrakor of the bastards of Palaya. I see. He can't be allowed to just be be Finarfin's antiquarian because I need to take I need to take um desirable match. <laughs> I don't know what other what other tree should be going on here. Law for more stewardship focused stuff. This doesn't matter. Um, Kin is completely useless. Um, I mean, we could technically go for blood, as even though it's really not that great for elves because you don't have kids very often. Warfare would be decent. It's just none of these are really that useful for elves because um, you just always play the same characters and you get so much stuff. Like, hmm. I could see warfare being a decent option because squire traditions would cause people in my family to die less often. There's a, you know, there's there's justification there. Ah, <laughs> your customs. Huh. I mean, there is actually logic behind it, but Gain up, you gain hooks, because we're gonna be landing only vassals of different cultures. We would literally gain so much cultural acceptance. None of the humans would like ever want to revolt because we, like we'd all get we get hooks on them, and they they have really good opinions of us. As crazy as it is, there's actually logic to it. Like, it's such a bad tradition normally, but. You could just learn everyone's language. Yeah, Kyle. <laughs> uh, no, no. Number of knights, mercenary high cost, personal scheme power, diplo. Laws decent for the cheaper buildings. Monthly prestige is good. We'll take it. We could probably get two more. Actually, we could probably get three more because I think you're able to get to one. One end. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save the game for my own mental sanity. But I, I, I have, I have the urge 
to to go down because I can get to the one to the point in customs where you get the um the hook on vassals when you land them in their own culture. So You know what? Fuck it. Even if it's bad, I'm going to commit to it. I don't I don't care. I don't care anymore. We are an egalitarian faction as well. Isolationist, but you know, we 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 uh do like the peoples. And uh now we can matrilineally marry <laughs> Elrond's heir. Hooray. Oh no. I'm here, husband of mine. Husband. Thank you. Thank you, Elrond. Penny Igath friendship forever? Huz? Huz? Are we gonna be friends? I think we're gonna be such great friends. We're gonna we're gonna take Take the Igath lands. I think he will be the bestest of friends with us. You are not at war. That's a fair point. That's true. They are. Uh, give me the money. Give me the money. Build holdings. We're gonna crank out some elven holdings at Karastorn. It's gonna be great. Need to get rid of Elrond in a second. Get rid of Elrond in a second kingdom and create. Yes. Now, how? This is the scheme. How? How do we now get rid of Elrond? How do we how do we murder Elrond successfully? You successfully murder Elrond. This is why you go down the guile tree so you can murder Elrond so that and and then you murder Eladan once you had kids with him and then your heir your heir is is goaded with the sauce, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got two. He, he's got this awesome sword and Vilia. He's probably got yeah. He's also got he's got so much shit. El Elrond's, like, treasure trove of, of goodies is mythical in this mod. It's gonna be so crazy when he's actually on the map. Yeah, exactly! Oh, fuck. Yeah, all I hear is more reasons to kill Elrond, Elrond as well. It's... It's pretty, pretty justifiable to me, I think. I mean... What has he ever done to me other than than uh, annoy my my hub 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 hubbard my human taking ring of power? Let's let's you know what? Let's sell trivial titles. We got enough prestige right now, um, because we're gonna build another we're gonna build another holding. Sure, thanks. I'll take the hook. Um, I'll give you war declaration. What's going to do? You can have war declaration. Sure. You're already on the council, so I just don't want you taking something weird. After 3.0. Steam releases most shocking statistics of the mod, most killed character. Yeah, suddenly, for some reason, Elrond becomes the most killed person. Because everyone is just, like, wanting his stuff. Everyone wants Elrond's goodies. And I mean, why wouldn't you? He's got so much stuff. All that is this mythical stuff he's gotten from the various Noldor people that have dropped off their goodies. <sighs> it only makes sense. Thank you. Yoinkies. No, he is a vassal man. Uh, we're gonna try to have a child, please. Please. 
Eladan and I know that the act of procreation and nurturing of an unborn child is an extremely special moment for any elf. I am sure that such a time of union and love will give us great delight and joy, though maintaining a strong spiritual connection to our Fea will require our utmost focus and attention, which means our stats are going to become ass. Our stats are going to become ass for a while, and by a while I mean years. We're going to become pregnant together. As Eladan and I have made the decision to try to have a child, the period of child rearing is a most blissful period of an elf's existence within Arda. And now we feel the time has come. As our souls were bound into one by marriage, now too are our bodies made one and our love made manifest in our offspring. Oh. Make make Elrond invisible. <laughs> just, I mean, nah. He's he's already like as he's incredibly hard to kill already. Like, yeah, Elrond's gonna be so cracked. It's gonna be like, actually playing him is gonna be so fun. He's gonna be one of the most fun starts in the game. No joke. Elrond is gonna be so much fun. Because he's going to have his whole shtick to reclaim Eregion. That's going to be so much fun. And he's going to have all these really cool artifacts. And you're going to have multiple... You're going to have two kids that can get married. So you could straight up just like decide to, as him, just sail west. And then play as your kids and romance people as them as well. And, um, Slightly starved and chronic headaches. Um, What was I trying to do? Oh yeah, I wanted to look at him. So, see... Like, we're all, all this talk about trying to kill him. Look at how, like, absurdly difficult it is. I mean, true. I'm not a good intrigue character. But how many elves are? Like, what elves are good intrigue characters? How do you how do you make this happen? You would need to have so much set up to get this to happen. Also, it's <laughs> we're allied to him. But, he, you know, he's, he's got no land. No, no one would help the scheme either. That's the thing. No, no one would join a scheme to do that. No of levies and stuff too. Oh yeah, the the um, I forgot. Human vassals don't provide levies to their liege. Uh, to, hu human vassals literally are not allowed to provide levies to elven uh, overlords because otherwise you'd get so many levies, and they'd be. Super powerful, which is not intended. Oh, you know, I, I forgot. I'm supposed to be doing... Yeah, this is this is super fast. This is not how it's intended to be at all. I've, I've, I've accidentally got, like, all the settings on that, that make it really easy for elves to convert. So this is not intended at all, just so you know. Ah... Uh... That kind of ruins the point of this, but I'm gonna, like, whatever. It, it normally would take like forty years to, to to finish Elven settlement here with this this character, with this this dude who's only good. But whatever. Was there a Rings of Power illustration for it? I didn't notice. Bend the knee. Bend the knee. And we're gonna we're gonna do a funny now. We're gonna we're gonna fabricate a claim on Utalad because it would be fun to grab. Um they have lots of trees there. That's the justification. See? Lots of trees, it's good. Just like um you know, there's lots of trees in Ulgathavolt. There's lot you know, so I think it's justifiable to take that. Ah, well, whatever it was, it's not there now. That's the so. Yay. I will inspire project, sure. Give me a magnificent chest. Make me a chest. Yes! Yes! Purgonet! A new life has been created by Eladan and I. 
It is a precious thing, still weak and developing within its mother's womb. We shall have to be careful and nurture our child well, supporting and nourishing it with our own fear until the time comes for it to be born. My good. Where is the funny man? No. Who's Maglor? He doesn't have a landed title yet. <laughs> Looking at elven family trees is just funny sometimes. Very grave. Okay, fine. Real inspiration comes from within. <laughs> and soon. We can start building uh, another holding, and then we will have the construction started on you know, maxing out all the holdings in Karastorn, which is cool. Ah. Oh, I want that. I want that. He made a really shitty miniature chest, but... Oh no, you need to be a fucking child. Oh my god. What a failure. I was thinking, oh great, I would like extra building construction speed. Great. Hello, smiley guy. Got a cursed idea of conquering nearby forested areas by Nalorniath and restoring... It... Uh, there's the, You can't restore Forest Bay. That's not a thing. There's just none of them. Meditate in seclusion again. Alright. Focusing. So here... Um, safe and easy. Secluded forest. So, so here is where you get the choice. You can... You can choose to focus. You can choose to focus your... your your Faya, to just just make your stats absolute garbage during the process of, of having the child. However, there is the um, the result. So it, it will keep getting worse, and it gets really bad. The trait gets like it has huge penalties to you. However, oh my God! Of course, he always loses his land. Now he's just wandering around. Please come back. He's, he's he's literally just wandering around near Dorwinian, just being depressed. This fucker is so useless. He needs to get married. Um, but here's the thing. I want you folks to actually consider this, because... Why am I so tired right now? Um, so the other thing that it does... You know, I'll spoil this. The other thing that it secretly does... Is it decrease? Is it it um vastly increases the chance that you won't have another that that you will like, be done that you'll be done having kids. So if you focus to the max, it's extremely likely that you won't even be willing to have a second kid. So if we if we do if we do this one, our child has all the sustenance it needs. Then we're more likely to be able to have multiple kids. I don't know how many. There's the, the code. I saw I saw the code for this, and I talked to the guy who made the code for this, and I still barely understand. He thought way too hard about this. There's so many things that go into affecting this. Elf elf lovers, man. I tell you, they're whack. You don't need a lot of babies.
They don't take a hu they take a hundred years. What are you talking about? No, they don't. You're not pregnant for a hundred years. What are you talking about? No, no, no. You you you're. Yeah yeah yeah. Pregnant for eight. Child for for like 50 years it's not it's not 100 it's not 100 it's it's only 50 which is still a fuck ton but you know all right all right fine you all want it i'm trying to be i'm trying to be you know, peaceful here and be like, you know, we don't need to focus all of our spiritual energy on this single child. Just, you know, you don't don't need to. But you folks really want it, I guess. Need? We need? We need what? What about him? Yes, what about him? I'm looking at my bro. What about him? <laughs> I didn't... I didn't get that. I didn't get that's what you were implying. That's so good. That's so good. I they focused they 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 focused all a lot on me. They they fo they, they focused a lot on me and then had none left over for for my brother. That's so beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what that word is. Kikurian kind. I don't know what that is. Yeah, he's the second. That's why I'm the heir. That's why I'm there. I was I was born like 150 years after him. Yeah, I was born like 150 years before him. Otherwise, he would have been the one who inherited. All right. Now you can't, you can't pr yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still. I need more people. I need, I need more people to, like, I want, I want more, more input on this than the one, one person. But yes, the world does need more Angbrim lovers. Um, okay, that is two in, that is two people. Khan, Bose, uh, yeah, yeah. John and you are both saying the focus of the max. It doesn't mean, like, you, you gotta know, like, this doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna be really good, but we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, he needs to... Alright, let's, let's see. The, uh, inheritable traits. She's gay. She's... All these people already had kids. All the people he could theoretically romance that have inheritable traits have had kids already, so... Or or just aren't into men. So, whoopsie-doodle. Um... Who's someone... Are there any lustful elves? There. There. Surely he can successfully romance a lustful elf. Surely. Inspiration, highest quality. What? Oh. Uh, I can I could just have all the tyranny I, I I want as an elf. No one will care. It seems like a bad idea, so do it. Yeah, I am. I'm genuinely. 
I do. T I say I can do as much tyranny as I want. I'm an elf. Tyranny doesn't matter. Immediately gets liberty and dis disillusion factions from the fucking human vassals. Oh my god. I should revoke this man's stuff and hand it out to loyal people. Yeah, she's she's good. She he he she's too good for him. Exactly. He doesn't deserve her. Also, how dare you tell me to not laugh? Yoink. Old man. Holy! This old man's based as fuck. Look at him. And now we've got a hook. So we can demand he pays all the money. I mean, I could have all... I could have already done that and just took the tyranny, so... You know, it only matters that much at the end of the day. <laughs> I mean, you know, looking at how how awesome he is, you you might you could be mis you, you could be forgiven for thinking that he married a lustful woman. He's only had a daughter though. He needs to uh, get some sons, otherwise trouble's gonna happen. I'm gonna be very curious to see if he actually succeeds. Really, always it's always fucking Blorcus. This dude, this this man, this man is is like the most awful person you'll ever meet in Darwinian, and he he always sleeps around, so he he always gets arrested, and there's like a fifty percent chance every game that he gets arrested, and, and, and that when he gets arrested for for sleeping around, that he he gets his lands revoked. Not always. Not even usually, but there's a chance, and it's really funny when it happens. Listen to Hubbard. Why is he bad? What do you mean? Try it. Yes, he he improved the work. Yes. Diplomatic court here. We are a diplomatic court. That makes sense. The bonuses to this. Offer vassalage acceptance chance increases. Thinking about it like this, I could have actually played as Lanthier. There's a specific strategy I could have played, I could have done as Lanthier that would have actually been very effective as a diplomatic court. But um, I think instead we're going to do, uh, yeah, we want to be a administrative court. But um, I'm a I'm a super a supreme goober, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna wait to switch to a administrative court until we've we've gotten our court grandeur to um, start giving people the um, diplomatic court tier court tier tier two thing. <sighs> Dedicated to him, yes. Sturdy chest, it's shit, but okay, fine. I didn't expect much from him. I didn't hire him because I thought he'd be good. Extort the subjects! <sighs> What's a Lind Galir? Sure, extort all of it. I need elven bow makers. Do we want elven bow makers? Hmm. Elven hunting grounds. 
Oh, we can actually upgrade to a better fortress. More! Greater effort, even more! Ah. Oh, yo. <laughs> I got the I got the, the duchy claim, I guess. So Yo, Dorwidian Yo, they're fighting. That's funny. As a person who has seen the code, does does stress have an effect for the 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 bared baby? No. No. I don't think so. But there's a lot of stuff that goes into it, so I could I could just be missing it. It, it wouldn't surprise me though. Elves are really weird that way. Why right, does he revoke it? Revoke his land, I dare you. I dare you revoke it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, you're a little bitch. Little bitch Hawin, you wouldn't you wouldn't revoke it. <laughs> Chains of loyalty. Let's let's learn let's learn language from Hus Margos. No. We'll do it anyway. Take that. Let's hold court. I will hunt the monster of Chernobor, yes. We shall have... What? what? Sargon wants to, law, to just, like, lord over them? Great. Great. No, we're not gonna get on them. This dude's trying to sit. Yeah? Is it just humans? Do I care? I mean, yeah, I probably should. There. Lock you the hell up. Execution is fine. I can execute normally as an elf. That's like, oh, but but I'm zealous, so it's okay. Jeez. Is dwarven marriage? No, 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 no. I'm gonna save scum that, yeah. I'm not gonna- I, I was not gonna risk getting it just straight up murdered by some random monster. No. I still got the chronic headaches, that's funny. I, I think that's a fair thing to do while you're pregnant, right? Is to just go and hunt a monster. That sounds like a, a fair... fair choice. More! Also, pilgrimage time. Go on a, let's go on a pilgrimage to to Karis Galathon. We're gonna want. Oh my gosh, we got such ass stewardship. We can't hold all of our holdings well. Oh, that's gonna be bad. The Dark Lord is coming. Has to. Yeah, next time, next time you're gonna you're gonna demand that I I um. I don't I don't want to play as fucking Aramagor. I don't want to risk that. I don't know. It's just a monster. It's just a base game event. Some sort of creature. I didn't. I should, I, should, I could have read the event, but you have to go through so much stuff as elves because they play so slowly. As a man overturned fish court, fish cart, right? The Dark Lord's armies are marching, yep. Cast down that insane man.
Divine protection, please. Now I have the pilgrim trait, which is good, because um, those because it takes a lot of piety to to keep keeps a lot of pi it takes a lot of piety to keep um having. Uh, the river spirit men at arms. Uh, though huh, we did kind of inherit a ton of archers from all of the vassals. Hmm. Though if okay, he's a he's that he's gonna he's having to go through Dale as well. It, it, this is one of those situations where Dale has actually kept their alliance. Bane is still alive, so they're out, still allied to, da to Dorwinian. So there's a good chance that Margaz won't take Dorwinian this game. But it's hard to say for certain. <laughs> Sorrow just got lost in his own tower, yeah. I mean, I mean, fair, it's big, yeah. Come poet, please. I I did somehow. I did somehow become a poet. Wow, that's crazy. Debase the currency, please. Yes, it worked. <laughs> oh, I love when that event works. Please finish being pregnant. Oh, it's so awful. Dude, you should be instead of this shitty elf I've got, you you should be the lore master. You're way better. Paying homage, huh? I did not expect that from this dude. He shouldn't have expected mercy from me either. Just wait. All the human vass, all, all, all the all the um elven vasses are gonna rise up too. No, of course not. It's oh jeez. He just kind of forgot where where it was. Yeah. He doesn't know where Imladris is. I'm gonna try and get him to romance someone again. This giant woman. Romance her. Yay! I will send a letter to Husmargaz. I have impressed Husmargaz with my knowledge. I will send him a poem now. I will send him... a work about legacy he should appreciate that he 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 appreciated my poem he he understands a good poem about legacy none of his kids have traits sad he is getting thrashed where's his war score lost from no battles have happened. Oh, actually, he, he may well win yet. We're both, yeah. We're both zealous boys. You know what the funny thing is? If he successfully takes Dorwinian, if he successfully takes Dorwinian, there's a good chance that he's going to come and try to murder me. He's, there's a good chance he's going to come to try and burn down Nalornia if, if he successfully takes Dorwinian. be revealed this awful man guys army please 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 help
Yay! Revoking his stuff. Revoking his stuff. Take it first? Take Darwinian first, then? Yeah? <laughs> what is this dude named Ash? A man's just Ash Ketchum? What is this? It's my only duchy title, funnily enough. Huh. Extort them. Soon forgiven. Yes. Direct vassal opinion. They will all love me in despair. <laughs> they live by my mercy. Wine flow will help with, with Elven King. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I know that I need to click it multiple times if I really want to get all of them, but I just don't really care that much. Hmm. Thank you, husband. Herbert. Who went? Please come. Please give me monies. No. You're not giving me monies. Please tell me whenever I can meditate in seclusion. I will, I will meditate in the forest any chance I get, and I will divine the stars. Great battle again. Oh, jeez. The great battle of our time. Oh, he's winning the battles. Mm. Wow, that's bad. Okay. Okay, I just I just lost all. Yeah, really. Reducing your taxes to me, huh? Great. Um, that was less than great, but you know, we'll fix it. I'm chased. We're not we're not fooling around. Goober. Pet the cat. We're gonna fix this. That's way too much stress. I know I wanted to build some stuff, but that's you know. Why is Margos ruling Medloshikane and not Jamik? Do do you not know? He's he's the main character of of Medlushikane. What? No, we haven't recovered the elven homelands of. of, 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 of. We have not. I demand muns. We have more important things to do, like... Try and fail to, to hook up our brother with someone, because he, he's really incompetent. He is, he is incapable socially. It's really, really funny. This is... yeah. Miriam, Miriam to this, this, no. What?
she's too far away. So, so she's too far away to interact with, and and as a result, she just can't. He can't marry her. That's 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 woof. Not matrilineally, no. Thank you. Oh jeez, what have I done? Uh, Jamik, no, no, Jamik dies. J Jamik dies like a few years into the game if if you're not playing. If you're not playing Jamik, it, it, if you're not if you're playing as who's Margo as who's Margos, it takes like it, 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 he he'll die. It'll take longer for him to die. But if you're if you're playing like even if you play as Jamik as of now, he just dies because. Marcos is the one. Mar Marcos is intended to take over. So, yeah. Um, I think it's time I landed him. Oh, but it's, I don't want to land. Why would I land him in the same kingdom as me? That's just silly. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to someone else. Steward, sure. He's not the best steward, but he is a steward. Why is that so expensive? That's less expensive than it normally is. Jeez. There. Put the humans a couple tiers below me. I don't want to have to look at them. Ugh. Gross. Bursty. Plains, hills, forest. Let's let's convert. Hmm. Convert this one. I want the culture to actually be connected. I don't want it to <laughs> just be randomly this one. Jim. Jamie conveniently decided to not live when his needed most. Yeah. Yum. Canonically, he dies of 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 death. Can, can the in, in realms canon? Um. Oh yeah, he did actually. Yeah. Okay, it was a white piece because he wasn't really. He might come back, though. We need to watch out for that. Yes, he dies of death. A child is born! Yo! Yo! He's... 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 He's beautiful! Avalon, a fine name. For 50 years we shall raise Avalon. Yes. 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 Please, yes, Lord Ash. No! We're finished! You fools, you have doomed us. I'm stubborn as fuck, you're gonna pay me. It's it You've ruined it all. It's just like I told you. Now now we 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 won't have any more children. And now I'm obese. No. Everything's everything's wrong. She is no longer my court musician. She is a disgusting. She it, instead will be uh, ex, uh, uh, just she will pay me. I'm no longer obese. One kid is enough? No. Sleep deprived. Ah. 
one is not enough. Imprison her? What? People aren't paying taxes? Wretch. Extra taxes! Oh, this dude has come because he wants to be given? This is a real Camus moment, matriarchal society. This random dude is just like, but I want to rule that land. And they're like, well, you can't because you're a dude. And he's like, comes comes to some other strong person and is like, please start a war on them. Ha. So in human kingdoms, we wanted court grandeur to invite elves to court. Huh? In hu what? In human courtiers, we wanted court grandeur to invite elves. What do we? S what do we? S I don't understand. I'm not gonna help him. I'm not gonna help him because I, I already I or I fabricated a claim for myself on that. <sighs> what do you use it for? Um Well you you Okay, so I, I, I hinted at like I alluded to earlier the fact that you can um So like uh, vassal acceptance acceptance chance. Um, what I've done, something I've done before as an elf, is I have um, I don't know if this still works if you're going heavy on diplomacy. But what I've done before is I have played a hev heavy diplomacy elf with tons of court grandeur, and I've done the war because you you have um, most elves. Um, she's an exception because she's zealous, but most elves can only, uh, declare war on evil faiths, um, to, um, destroy the darkness or whatever. And it, it, um, replaces the, uh, the local characters with, uh, characters of, uh, whatever the native faith of the, of the native, um, culture and, um, whatever a, like, at least neutral faith for the region is. So... If you're playing Lanthier, theoretically, if, if you're playing Lanthier instead of me, his daughter, you can theoretically, I, I don't know how well it works in practice anymore because there's been adjustments to, um, shitty book. Um, there's been some adjustments to the way that um, Vassal Acceptance Chance works in the mod, but theoretically, you could do that. You could, you could, um, Declare the war and end up. Uh, it, it would, you know, make an independent uh, region of good people. And theoretically, as a result of that, um, you could vassalize them diplomatically. But I am not convinced that that will work anymore. And now we need to hand out this stuff. And we can uh, send out an embassy to Elven lands. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. Let's see if we can chat up Thranduil. I mean, he successfully took this one county, so that's better than normal Thranduil, and he's actually started colonizing, so that's something. All right. Yeah, I actually have not done this yet, so I, I have yet to test this this um quest chain. Um, we do not have a religious head as the Morik Wendy. Well, yeah, that's right. I want to take the Obsidian Temple. Forgetting about that. 
19 months until his can theoretically declare war on Gladorthin now. Oh, fuck. Maybe we'll win that. Alright. Um. Okay. My Chancellor approaches, parchment in hand. Sire, at your request, I have compiled a list of elven realms enduring in Middle Earth. They are as follows. The kingdom of Aaron Lascalan occupies the north of the largest forest in Middle Earth. Its subjects are numerous but reclusive. Their seasoned troops would make them precious allies. The realm of Lothlorien of the Golden Melun is created, cradled between the roots of the Misty Mountains. Though they are small in size, it is protected by the power of Galadriel and remains unsullied. Even a small portion of that power would be great use to us. So who do we talk to? Hello, Valar. Just figuring out who we send a uh, diplomatic envoy to. Do we go and chat with Thranduil or Galadriel? The Golden Wood or the Green Wood? General Kenobi. Yes, yes. Stretch. Yes, who are we going to go chat with? Gold is gold, Thranduil, or Florian. Alright. Alright, that's that's uh that's enough Galadriel for me to be convinced. Yeah, okay, even more people saying Galadriel. Let's do it then. Let's go chat. Let's go chat her up. This is when I get to select who I'm sending, right? Alright. I know exactly who I'm sending. We're gathered here, my lady, on your request. How can we be of service? Yes, yes. So we're we're gonna send an embassy. We can send Chancellor Lady, Steward, or Marshal Sargon, or the Spy Master. Yes, we send Chancellor our uh, counselors. That is correct. So um, apparently, the it has just been announced. There's going to be a developer developer clash thingy. Uh, let me see. Has it has it been? Yes, there's a there is a uh, realms in exile dev clash that's going to be happening on Saturday. Um Remarod's calling it a multiplayer showcase, but it's a dev clash. It's a it's a, it's a big old we're going to be throwing some hands. Uh, and I am going to be playing Nalorniath in that multiplayer game as well as this stream. So, uh, originally I was actually going to be playing Dale, but, uh, it, instead, instead I'm going to be playing Nalorniath and, and, and chilling, uh, for the most part, unless whoever ends up playing Hosmargaz gets too big for the britches. Because if, if the, the Hoods Margaz player starts, like, actually doing... Like, if they manage to actually take the Golden Igath host decision and attack Dorwinian, then, uh... Ugh. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could always... I could always just play Joffrey instead. There's nothing... Th there's nothing stopping me from playing Joffrey in the MP. Dale is so boring. I don't want to stream Dale. They're the most bor- they have nothing. It would be, like, three times more interesting to even play the Logath. And the- and that's just because the Logath have unique holding types. Dale is the least- out of anything in the North, Dale is- Pathetic. The, the most interesting thing about them is the fact that they, A, have Bard's Bow, which is cool, but is pretty much just as useful for anyone. Uh, so, A, they have Bard's Bow, and their archers are really good because of that. Uh, B, Erebor is next to them, so they're just cool by osmosis, I guess. And C...
No, no, there's no C. There's no C. It's just, it's just... It's just that they have good archers and they're next to they're, they're next to Erebor. That's all. So, so, yeah. The the funny thing is, so jo Joffrey is a member. He's a member of the Master Merchants. And the master merchants are canonically conniving to, to like, destroy the Koldana family. Now, mind you, he's not the he's he's not the head of the master merchants. The master merchants are led by the Montegians, so it wouldn't actually be him doing it. Um, but yes, I definitely will at some point do a Joffrey overthrows. Darwinian stream. No, 4.0 isn't really a thing at the moment, but how will Erebor? Oh, there is so much debate over what's going on with Erebor, but okay, first of all, be before I talk about that, um, I'm gonna send Sargon, because he's really good. He's He is the only character left alive on the map right now who is a veteran of Palasor. He's so badass. Sargon, go. Yes. It's really called Ruskavold, yes. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure that someone will enlighten me why that's funny. Um did you did you know? Did 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 you did you um perhaps anticipate then that Montegian, the Montegian house, is of the Caparian dynasty? Uh, and across the river is, is the other house. Because there's, there's the Montegians and the Capariana. Isn't, isn't that interesting and quirky? Yes, yes, it's a Verona moment. It's a real Verona moment. Three elven players, Vector, Lorian, Muskellon, Nemcraft. Yes, yes, all three elves are theoretically going to be getting played. Uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to be playing as as Nalornia. It's rather unlikely I won't. Um No, no, there's no there's no special event chain. It's just an Easter egg. Similarly to the fact that Urkenwin exists and um Urkenwin is uh, an Easter egg because um his house words are our wine are um our wines are too strong for you, traveler. Um If if you don't if you don't take if you're not taking over Dorwinian as either Joffrey or Blorcus, then then you you better be doing it as Urkenwin. Because because <laughs> insane insane man living in the mountains. Nalorneath is evil? No! No, I don't... It's very unlikely that there's going to be any, like, lore-breaking evil play going on. And also, the person who's playing... Um... Oh, no. Uh, but yeah, we definitely are going to need a good Huzmar Gauz player. They're definitely... Actually, I need to check this now. Who's Who's currently on the event? Who's, who's set to, to play? No one! No one's set to play... Fucking hell. Jo Joffrey cannot play evil or be good. Whoa. Oh, yo, board game. Board game with, with um... Yeah, we're gonna play chess. Elrond and I are going to chess it up in here. I play chess, uh, like I fight. Um, I'm shit at chess, probably. I'll savagely play chess, yep. He's gonna beat my ass. Um, I'm gonna outthink him. Yep, I'm gonna outthink Elrond, I'm sure. I'm sure with his 31, oh god. 
I've studied chess extensively, explains my opponent. And I'm sorry that by this point, I simply don't think there's any way for you to win. I, well, I am, I'm also, no, no, he, he's never going to see it coming. He won't see it coming at all. And he beat my ass, yep. We'll see. The better man won. Is it a right moment to play Doom music for Veilar or to wait for the MP? Uh, I I don't know. I don't know. It's it's um it's pretty. I I'm not really concerned, but I think that the fact that I'm not concerned is mostly just because I'm going to be playing as Nalorniath, and my biggest my biggest competition as Nalorniath is literally going to be Huz Margaz, and Huz Margaz only gets the decision to take out Nalorniath five years after he's taken Dorwinian, and he needs to have both. Gazar Kug and Kugathavold to even get it. He needs to have both of these already. I think. I think I need to swap over now. Hold on. I need to swap over and check to make sure. I, I need to allay my fears. Does it need you to have completed Igath host? Okay, no, that's just to make Shreldor, okay. So he can't, he can't... It, whoever's playing... Whoever is playing Huz Margaz will not be able to make Shreldor in, in the MP as long as I, as Nalorniath, take these two duchies. He, he just simply can't because you need to complete the Golden Igath host decision. Which uh, needs a ton of shit. It's really hard on purpose. And it needs both of these duchies, so that's hilarious. Uh, why do I play it? Because it's going to be an MP. It's different. Uh, also, I was going to be playing Dale, but another dude wants to be playing Dale. So, um... Someone's gonna, someone's gonna be playing as Medlo Chicane. Um, either, there's just no one, no one's selected it right now, but there's a, there's a couple, there's like two people uh, on the team who are waiting to just pick whatever uh, isn't picked, if that makes sense. They're just gonna slide in wherever they're needed. Uh, and, you know, I am currently play, gonna be playing as Nalorniath, but, um, you know, if I need to, I'll play someone else. You know, we'll just see how things go. We'll, we'll see how the roster shakes up. <sighs> and I will. I will play as Huz Margaz if I need to. But I don't think I will. So why am I so tired right now? Uh, but yeah, as for as, as for um, Vangaris, um, yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna play Vangaris because he's super far out of the way. He, he has no involvement. The only involvement he'd have in the multiplayer would be fighting Huz Margaz, which would be pointless. That would just hurt the bad guys. Uh, so, you know. And that's what, and that's what the scheme is. Now you understand. Now you understand, Dan. Um, this channel, me here on this channel, I get to talk to you all about it, and I get to talk about I, I get to talk about what it's like to work on the mod, and I get to explain our thought processes and stuff, and then we get to do you get to you're you're forced to watch our multiplayer games, and then I even talk about I can, I even like help you ex help explain some stuff to you on how it works, and then you've got no excuse but to join us. Sooner or later, sooner or later, there's, I know you, there's lurkers too. That's the best part. The, the best part is that I know, 
I know there's people who are going to see this and hear what I'm saying right now that are lurking, and they're thinking about it. They're thinking about trying to learn to mod, but they're not doing it because they haven't. They haven't. They haven't had that one. They haven't had that moment. It'll happen. It'll happen. <laughs> and then I will be, be grinning all the way, knowing that I'm the. I am the reason for that. Is, why is he... I, I told you, I want you to increase Elven settlement there, not... Development holding in Karas form. Actually, I'm gonna reload. That may have switched when I when I swapped over to, to Margaz. It may have caused some stuff to change. Oh no, wait. Why is there an autosave? Please don't tell me I like I did save the game then, right? I made a lot of saves. But okay, Dan, Dan, I did we, we did explain though that um it's very unlikely for for any sort of um Quarza Lunast conquering um uh, Ray thing to actually be put in the mod, so. I know a coat of arms are a decent place to start, but. Like, on honestly. Okay, good, it is. It is still working. Honestly, um. Okay, if that's what you want to do, if you think that that's fun, and you and you want to, if you think it's fun to try and learn that way by making an event for Quarza to take out Ray. Go ahead and do it. Uh, we can't stop you. If that's how you want to learn, then you should do it. And and if it's if if you act if you finish it, I will be one of the people who's trying to get it in because I like the idea. I came up with the stupid idea, <laughs> so I'll be one of the people who tries to get it to work, to get implemented. But you know, I'd like any. I would like any way for the Quarza to be made more interesting, because right now they just sit there and there's nothing for you to do with them other than it's like, oh, it's neat. They've got a, they've got a neat religion. It's cool. Huh. I still think a good event for them would actually be to go up and take out the Tedjin. So I, either a decision for them to unite the the Quar, the all the um, the middle Apogeic people do some sort of dune sea empire or to take out the tedjin and get revenge that would be neat but anyway all that rambling aside someone asked me ages ago about erebor didn't they someone asked me here ages ago about erebor like we we're talking every once in a while it comes up where we're talking about what's going to happen with this county and i say county we don't know what the fuck we're going to do with this thing like like there's so many different ideas i'm not going to specify really because i don't want to i i don't i don't want to lead anyone in certain directions but like there's a lot of different ways that we're trying to figure out what to actually do with this location on the map because as you're implying like like by asking a question like how is it going to be dealt with it's a really small area of the map and this applies to a lot of stuff with dwarves in general where it's a really small area on the map but and, and it's like really rough terrain and it's like how do you like how how do you make this a really good location while it's so small like do you do you cram in like a bunch of stuff you know there's, there's a lot of questions like that that we're, we're still figuring out which is why i personally am even though i'm really excited to work on dwarves i'm thankful that it's a ways away so i can you know get more time to to push my own agenda <sighs> all right embassy my lady we've arrived at the court of Galadriel of Lothlorien. And she is wearing her white dress. Why is she wearing her... Is she sick or something? What is going on? Why is she wearing that? Um, 
been well received, been granted pleasant lodgings and liberty to roam the land. We're just, we're just gonna hang around. In order to further my mission, I believe it's now time to organize an event to which the yes the, the heroine would be invited to introduce her to our customs, which we start with. Uh, we're going to what do we do? What do we do? Festivities hunt. We're gonna a hunt. He'd probably be good. At a hunt. I bet he would be good at organizing a hunt. Yeah. He probably knows a thing or two about that. He's not a hunter, but he's he's a fighter, so. Yeah, um, Lady also strong? She's busted as hell. She used to be, like, eat way stronger as well. That's the crazy thing. She's been nerfed multiple times over the last couple months. It's crazy. Uh, let's have a hunt. Bar and embassy, when the wind blows. Liege, we've organized a great hunt for Galadriel's enjoyment. Our hunters have located a great ten-pronged heart. And silent, as a whisper, we brought her so close to the quarry she could nearly touch it before firing the killing arrow at point blank. Galadriel seems to have greatly enjoyed herself. <laughs> it was thrilling. <laughs> I knew it. Yes, it went well. It's gone very well. It's just super stress. I'm, I'm still wounded. I don't have anyone. Um, court position. Let's make Hubbund. Hubbund is going to doctor it up in here. Eladan, teach. It must learn the ways of the doctor. Lady, we're now reaching the second half of our mission. In order to make the best impression on our host, I think it is now time to organize a second event to which heroine, the heroine would be invited to introduce her to our customs. What should we continue with? Also, yes, uh, Isengard is similar to... I Isengard is similar in concept, where it is a small location on the map. It's been changed. Um, the uh, territory map here has been changed a little bit, so there's just one uh, extra barony here. Or thank is this, and then, then the rest of it is this other barony, this other plains barony. Oh, he's building deep storehouses. Oh, oh, he's digging. Oh, how deep is he? The mines of Isengard. Furnaces of Isengard. Better not dig too deep, Saruman. I'll have to stream him. I'm gonna have to stream Evil Saruman now. He's Evil Saruman has some very interesting things now, I must say. Alright, so what do we do? Banquet or meditation? Or bard, bard. We like singing. We do the songs, we storytell, poetry. We're 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 the David Bowie elves. Bring a bard. Troublemaker. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Well, I don't want to make him an entry character. Here's the scheme. Here's the scheme, folks. Here's the scheme. We make him we make him an intrigue character so that he can kill his grandfather and then we inherit. We inherit all of Elrond's drip. Oh god. <laughs> That's just not feasible. It's not happening. Very elvish, of course, yes. It's of our embassy. Uh, my liege, we've organized a singing recitation with Galadriel. We brought our best poets and musicians and invited her to do the same. We started with a song about the Battle of Palisor, which was answered by one on the last alliance of men and elves, after which poets answered each other with ever-rising skill and talent. Galadriel seems to have greatly appreciated the experience. She even joined the poets for a time. 
I do glad Philly would greatly enjoy our tails. Yes. Knock on wood. Hmm. Our lady, my lady, uh, my lady, our embassy comes to its conclusion. I can say that our diplomats have been most diligent in bringing our two peoples together. Galadriel is sympathetic to our cause and, and extends to you the offer to ask a boon of her. Yes. yes. They're just rap battling? Yeah. I guess so. They're just having a rap battle about who's had the most epic fights. Ask for her hair? What? Let us be allies against the darkness to come. I would ask for a weapon to fend off my enemies. I would ask for a warrior from record. Yeah, ask for her hair. Yeah, great, great. No. 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 Hair is getting in my face. Allies in the darkness to come. Negotiate an alliance with her. If we negotiated an alliance with her... Yo, is she doing the thing? Is she winning? Oh, she's straight up doing her invading Dol Guldur. Fuck. Yo. Why do you all want to get her hair? You got, we got some thirsty motherfuckers in the chat right now. Damn. God damn. You can't play as a dwarf. What are you... You people. Thirsty as hell. Just wanted a lock of Galadriel's hair on God. So, Galadriel is probably going to win this war against Dol Guldur. But if we negotiate an alliance with her... Uh, we could help her. I mean, yes, her hair is a pretty big deal, so that, that is fair. We're definitely not getting a warrior. So what do we do? Do we do we become allies and then go, I guess, help her fight Kamul? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. That just proves Feanor was also thirsty for her hair. Everyone is. It's it's fair. Uh, if the ambassador fails, you you just you lose. You fail. You get nothing. You lose. I'm terrified that I I might uh, now that I'm in my twenties. He, there, there might, you know, some people probably won't get that reference to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's that's terrifying. I don't think you can try again. Yeah, seven kids is a lot of kids for elves, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can't try again. Man, man, what? What? You got something to say? Say it. Oh my gosh, yeah. We need we need to make a 3D model specifically for Galadriel's shiny hair. That sounds like a... Well, yeah, I'll, I'll eye our weapon, but uh, I don't know which one we should do. It's not like the it's hard to play as Nalorneth. We really don't need... Why, why am I... Why, why do I have a bunch of missing levies? This is weird. No, we're definitely not just grabbing a friend. It doesn't say. It doesn't say who she'd give us. It, it probably just generates. I, I Again, I haven't done this yet, so... I assume... I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say. What does it do? Who does it give us? Random fucker. Gives us a random fucker. Great. Randomly generates a very capable... Randomly generates a very capable martial character. Random lass. Even better, yeah. Here's, uh, here's the weapon. Let's see. 
She gives us a Galathrum bow. Archer damage, plus 10%. Archer toughness, plus 10%. Prowess plus twelve. Yeah, he do. He do have one of those. Um. Yeah. Okay. Our whole army is archers right now. I'll take that. You know who needs an alliance? Who's in, who needs an alliance with Galadriel when we can get that? I'm not even... I'm not worried about Margos anymore. 15 months. We've been, we've been paused for so long. <laughs> I want to become irritable. She's already a grumpy enough person. Fine. She's gonna be nasty. Unfortunately, she doesn't give us a weapon that is her hair. So sad, I know. Hunt. Punish poetry. Beast. There, stress is gone. Oh my god. Bot thirst. Bot thirst. You need to fight your thirst. You all need to fight your thirst. I have done a good job of this. Secluded forest, yes. So No, I didn't I didn't get the Shrek hunt, no. Sadly, I, I did not get the, the Elven Shrek hunt. Fucker! What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> My brother! My brother, you have betrayed me! <laughs> you can't make this shit up! Look at him! What the fuck, man? Yeah, my shitty, my, my shitty, like, kindergarten flunking brother, straight up is gonna, he's teaming up with my, no, I should have allied Galadriel, oh, she's losing to Dolgaldur, oh, no, I don't know why he's over there, he just doesn't like being at home, he wanders all the time, so he probably just wandered around, and then, Dude, I gave you so much. I, I gave. No, I can't. I can't calm down. This is this is awful. No, I'm not fine. I am not fine. He says he's not fine as he proceeds to start start recruiting the men in arms. Here we go. So what's weird though 
is that my, my levies aren't replenishing. And I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Because we're so, we, we do have a slow... Um, Our, our levies do replenish slower than normal, but that that shouldn't shouldn't just okay. Yeah, we just need all the money. Am I building anything? Because if I'm building something, stop it. I'm gonna finish the elven settlement though. When I get, I was gonna. I I was gonna give him land. I was gonna give him Uzravar. I was going to make him the king of Ujravar. Oh, because our arrows are really good. Uh, we definitely need pikes. Actually, this is this is really bad. I um, That's a good point. He has extremely... He, he has a, probably got some Loke in us rim still. So this is less than good. That was that was a bad call on my part, but he's got a lot of area to go through. Oh, immediately get a new cat. Sell titles, yep. Sell trivial titles. Give me spears. What are the but the border wardens are good against heavy infantry skirmishers and monsters. That's not going to help against his cav though, and he probably has. So he's got pikemen and halberdiers. Are you good against? No. Archers, skirmishers, spearmen, heavy infantry. I think. I think it's go big. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. We're not getting Spearman. We're not getting Spearman. We're going to get... We're going to get Nunavari. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm doing it. <laughs> I like you, you say Ulmo spawn like this is fucking this is Warhammer this is like <laughs> chaos spawn uh, whatever happened to that mod I wonder what's going on with Geheimus knocked right now any of these give me money Imprison, imprison the frontier hero. Imprison the frontier hero and and release with a hook. Yeah, join me, please. Unironically better than Sargon as a marshal, but uh, I I will resist the urge. To swap. Yeah. <laughs> you like Warhammer, but not when there are like 400 of hundreds of them. Fair enough. Debase the currency, debase the currency, please. No, people found out. I'm gonna scream it now. Okay, this army here. Oh yes, yes. 
Yes, more. More, okay. Recruit, we're gonna have 20 new Navari. And then we're gonna snipe this army here. Probably. Maybe. I'm gonna go and meditate in seclusion. Also, I'm still not healed. Oh! Ha! <laughs> we can- we can do another one. Okay, I, clearly I was wrong. I can- I can send an um, embassy to, um, Las Gallon as well. That's- that's cool. I, I actually didn't think that was gonna be the case. Let's get out of there. Defeat. Yeah, that was not a good battle. Oof. This is rough. Hey, you. Oh, he's not imprisoned by me. Ha <laughs> ha. Lol. Alright, let's recover a bit. Please give me lots. Yes, lots of money. Fuck it, even more. For a second there, I thought it was gonna crash. Jeez. Don't scare me like that, game. It'd be so terrible if we crash right now. I have so many! 40 of them! Let's go. Let's go. Alright, you get back to giving me money. Thank you. You are gonna be the new steward. Because you are better. Oh. Hmm. You are just a human though. Fine, we'll give we'll give out that duchy title later. For now this guy can definitely stay as the steward. How does he convert? What? How does how does who convert? He likes moon. Um see I can't demand the conversion of, of subjects. I I can't demand I, I can't like make humans or or I guess any other vassals convert. Um, but because no one owns this, I'm, I'm able to give it to humans that don't follow my religion. This guy's human. He's Olgath. No, he is, he is human. He's a human that follows the, the, the elven religion of, of, of the East. That is a thing that can happen. jump on him when he's in the forest, because we'll get the defender advantage. I think the bow gives us combat in forest as well. Advantage in forest plus five. But, uh, I'm nowhere near as good as the other commanders here. Forest fighter. Alright, Sargon. I'm uh, counting on you. What? 
You're gonna attack me here? Dude, you're outnumbered by an army of elves, and you're gonna attack me up here. Alright. Have it your way. Oh, this is gonna be spicy. Oh, fuck. So many Easterlings. <laughs> oh, there's so many of them. The AI is better. The AI is clearly better at fighting. <laughs> the AI Nalorniath does a better job of fighting him than I, I am right now. Because the AI actually like recruits armies beforehand instead of just focusing on random useless shit. By the way, is the culture that grants the law... Yeah, um, um, so, wards, uh, we, we've managed to, I, I don't remember who on the team did it, but I, I praise them, I'm so thankful they did it, because someone on the team managed to make, um, to make it so that, uh, you can, con you can educate to convert someone's culture if they're the same race as you. So you can convert, you can educate elves to be a different elf culture and you can educate a uh any human to become a different kind of human you can you can take a low gath if you if you play as um uh if you if you play as as um the aradonaim plays the aradonaim and and you sail up the anduin and and you start kidnapping bayornings you can educate them to be black numenorean culture orc wards I, I assume you can educate orcs to be different kinds of orcs. I just I've never tried that because I don't I don't play orcs really. The only orcs I play are Gundabad, but Gundabad isn't real. So, oh fuck! Damn! Is he gonna is he gonna win this? Please be out of special troops now. He still has 700 special troops. I bet a lot of them are his... Oh, he's probably got some low rim left. That doesn't sound complicated. You just educate people. Also, d yeah, don't worry about the fact that I had a very specific example on hand that I could tell you about. Yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about that. I'm sure that there's no reason that I immediately thought of that. Do not worry at all. No, I don't want to become friends with these humans. They all die. These humans. All just dying after... You try to become friends with them and then they just die. Just when it's, things are getting good. Typical human L. Now he's gonna come and attack me again. I'm from friends with elves, now that's that's different. Find the stars, please. Give me hope. <laughs> no. Ah, forgiving, trusting, or patient. What do we do? Probably not something Mr. Streamer does in past time. Yeah, that's right. I never would do that. Mr. Streamer would never. Hevelon. Trusting, patient. Patient is a virtue. They say patience is a virtue. And patience is not a bad trait by any means. Yes, I agree, you agree? Be patient, let things play out, and then make your judgment. He will be a goodest of boys. Look at his hair. Look at this hair. Look, he's got it all slicked back.
Where's the rest of his army? What happened to the rest of your army, friend? Didn't you have 10,000 Easterlings a moment ago? What happened to them? Where'd they go? Where'd your army go? Margos? What happened, Margos? Aren't you supposed to be tough shit? Aren't you, aren't you the guy who's gonna, like, you know, bring back Sereldor or something? Is that what you want to do? If you keep, if you keep hanging out in the woods here, th like, you're not even gonna get the chance to get killed by Dane. Certified. Certified goonish behavior. Oh, is he locked in his movement? I swear. Dude, 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 don't. Oh, he's doing it. This absolute monkey. Oh, God. Capture the fuck out of him, please. I want to capture him and just put him in prison. Please. Just some random Audriag. What even is... It? I mean, okay, okay. I admit the Audriags are cool, especially these ones. Uh, but still, still. Certified goonish behavior. Is is his sled? Yeah. Yep. It's a it's a you know it's a simple shield fitted with a handbrake and it, it, you know. Like it was Legolas's favorite toy as an elf link. He used to spend hours sliding down to Radrin's uh, snowy slopes in winter, and all remember how memorable the memorable incident when he decided to take it down the main palace stairs. When the young prince outgrew uh, out outgrew it, he left his sledge in his father's palace, who treasures it a, f a fond reminder of joyful moments spent together. Yeah. I can't do that at war, when I'm at war, right? Oh, I can! <laughs> Keep sending it, yeah. It's a good poem! People agree, it's a good poem. He doesn't even hate me. This is the funny part. He doesn't even hate me. He just... It's just business to him. He's like, you know what? Yep. It's just business to him. That brother of mine, that absolute lout. Oh my god. My godge? Did I just say godge? Here he comes again. He's got nothing. Look at these halberdiers. He's bringing in these Easterling halberdiers. He's got these bloke in us. Great, great. Oh my god, he has so many left. He has 75 Lok Innis Rim left. Look at this dude. He's so... He's so strong. Yo! You were fighting me? Dude. Not cool. Renounce the fuck out of your claim. See what happens. See what happens now. See what happens now. It might just invalidate the fuck out of the war. No? Oh. <laughs> I just imagine this. Imagine this. This is hilarious. Yeah, who's is fine. He's gonna keep fighting. Just we capture Armagor. Capture him in battle. I, I'm <laughs> Sargon captures him. He brings Sargon brings it brings Armagor back to me and is like, here he is. Like I don't. <laughs> I captured Armagor, and then I'm like, well, dude. Dude, why are you doing this? And, and then and then I'm just like, all right, you you have a no claim to the kingdom anymore, and and you owe me for this. Just leave. And he's like, okay, 
And then he just goes back. And he tells Huz, yeah, I've got no... I don't have any claim to the kingdom anymore. But he's like, no, nah, you know what, we're still gonna fight. We'll still fight for it, we'll give it to you anyway. Finally, I'm not wounded. No wonder she's an irritable fuck. She has to deal with this stuff all the time. God damn. He's wearing down our army. Oh my god. These humans are so annoying. We like... Oh. I'm gonna go meditate in seclusion again. Fuck me. Why do I have too many holdings again? Not because I'm meditating in seclusion. Open-minded. What? Oh, yeah, that's actually not a good thing. Thank you. Yeah, he does go back, too. He's like, immediately, he just wanders back. He's the ex of fucking Kushner of Who's Margaz. That's the name of the men at arms I want to add, by the way. That's the uh the the, the men at arms I'm trying to add for Shreldor is is a uh, Shrel Kane executioners. I still haven't I, I still don't remember if I've got Yeah. They need some they need some heavy balancing. Right right now they're I don't even think they're in my files actually. I think I think I've got them somewhere else. Fuck. No, I actually deleted all the files for them except their image, so I'd have to go and add them again from scratch. But um Yeah, the premise is that they're elite halberds. I'm going to No, I'm not siege racing you. Fuck off. Leave. Leave. Yeah, leave. Who? Who's claiming throne against me? The fuck? Who has got meritocracy? It's you, isn't it? It's this Varium guy. No, it isn't. Is it Ash? Yeah, it's this dude. This adulterous Olgath man is, is, I mean, I, I mean, fair enough. He's got 28 stewardship. But the fucker he's trying to claim the Lord. Yeah, that's a king. Dude, dude, shut up. You don't, you don't get to talk. Let the, let, like, yeah, yeah, you better, you better abandon it. Good. Jesus. Where is he going now? He's going back to Lynn Gilear. Why is it hard to siege this? What, what is the fort level of this place? Three? Got moths and bastions. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Plotting against someone. Hmm. Siege racing. What do you want me to do with you? You're going to run into the middle of the forest. They've been stack wiped now. Now what are you gonna do? Temperate? Just? Just as virtuous! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He could become the most bestest of boys. So we want him to be cynical. Easterling claiming through- I mean, I actively play the dude who starts with all of Kugathavold. I, I, I play as him and take over Nalornia from the inside, so it's more likely than you'd think. He's completely ruined his chance of taking Norwinian. This absolute fool. This absolute fool. Is it better than just? I don't know. I, I, I mean, it, 
it gives us extra piety for some reason. Um, you lose intrigue if you have just, but because the health boost doesn't matter at all for us. So the fact that just is virtuous probably means it's just straight up better. Vassals like you more. You lose intrigue though, so. No, he's not. No. I, actually, he has a, good, a lot of intrigue. <laughs> we could just make him cynical. He could afford it. Cynical's a good trait. He's already patient. Hmm. Yeah, he could become good at intrigue. Like he, he would be good at intrigue schemes. No. No, he doesn't. His face is way better than, than Armagor. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? He's got his uncle's face. What do you mean? Any of these could work. I don't know which one to take. I don't know which one it should be, but any of them are good. That's the that's the tough part. Cynical fits. Hmm. Cynical to to parallel the mother. She's a zealous, chaste, stubborn person, and he could become a patient. Temperate's great, but all it does for us as elves is the stewardship, really. Uh, yeah. Patient, just. Make him the goodest boys. The goodest of boys. Just as awkward? What? Yeah, well... Let's- let's be honest. Let's be honest. I was never gonna murder Elrond, so... That was- that's ne that was never gonna happen. Like... If if I want if if I felt like it, I could theoretically go on a super min max build to try and make it happen, but you know. It, it's it's not realistic. It better be fine. Gonna give me this random dude who's got an infection? I don't, I don't want this dude. What are you on about? Yeah, you're just gonna stand there. Yeah, I'm gonna fight you one last time before I end this war. And extort subjects while I'm doing it. Oh, he, he's got more now. What do you do to get those, man? Well, please just leave. Jeez. You're, you're gonna get it for this. Swear fealty to him. There we go, virtue. Alright, let's take... Let, let's take it. It's time to go take Old Galavold. It's time. He has been a pain. The 
Gradual continues. Does he, does he have mercs? No, he didn't hire mercs. He just got a lot of money somehow. Now with all of this money, finally I'll upgrade the, the capital. It's definitely deserving. Hmm. I don't know what else to upgrade, though. Chaste? Chaste is not virtuous? I mean, it'll give you piety, but that's not, like, doesn't directly help. Lustful? Lustful? No. You'll be chaste like you, mama. He, he, you're going to be smart. Book. Books. Yes. Yes. <laughs> books. Two of them. He'll get two books. He's going to be such a smart fucker. Holy. Oh, what is this? There's a total of five extra learning. Speaking of books, I got a book for meditate, med meditating in seclusion. Ch <laughs> You're chased like your mom. I mean, fair enough, yeah. Elven settlement has finished. Here, good. What even is Lustful Elf? Feanor, I guess. I, You know what I want to know? I want to know... I, I want to know whether... I, I, I want to know whether in the code, um, being lustful and, or, and chaste changes your desire for kids. It makes it go up or down. Because, um, by the way, uh, the way it works is that... Um, Both both elves have a um, desire for children stat, and as soon as either of their of theirs reaches zero, then no more kids. As soon as either of them reaches zero in their desire for children, they both are done. So maybe Chase decreases it. It's always possible. I doubt it. But it's possible. Because this dude, I gotta I gotta find his spreadsheet. He was debating on like the, the crazy part is he was debating on trying to make it more like into like shown, which would have been like, oh my god. If it's somewhere you had like a thing that just transparently was like, this is your desire for children, that would be awful because all the players would min-max the fuck out of it. <laughs> As soon as people know what the desire for elven children is, it's like, oh, literally anything you could possibly do to increase it. Uh. Players do be like that. Execution! Culture has discovered birds. Oh, okay. We, you know, researching is actually a thing in this. Yeah, easy to forget. Um, we don't have bailiffs, and that's a problem, because that's, that's important. I think, is there a tech? Our tech, this is the hilarious thing, because we're the shitty elves. Uh, we're, we're the, we're, we're like tribal elves, almost. Um, we actually have, um, the, the Igath are the, the most technologically advanced Easterlings, and our tech is the same as them. So, if you look at the other Easterlings... The rest of the Easterlings, trash. 
I mean, the um, the Olgath are essentially the same. The Olgath are like they're just they're pretty much the same as the Igath. They're just like war more warf mongering versions of the Igath. But um, yeah, Asdrags and such. Even the Asdrags have some good tech. But um, yeah, the rest of them, trash. But 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 yeah, we we. <laughs> No clue who likes me. What? Are you saying? Wait. Who <laughs> likes me? <laughs> no way. But but I'm not playing a dude, so that doesn't even apply. I'm gonna spend this uh, extra cash we've got on making extra holdings. So if you're wondering why, because I know some people might find it odd that I'm just building more holdings, just these really shitty holdings and not doing any with anything with them. Well, the reason for it is that elves actually, um, the more elven holdings you have, the more maximum capacity, it's like a pyramid. Think of like, Elven society and like holdings. Think think about it like a uh, a pyramid where you need to um. It, Elven society is a pyramid scheme, clearly. Um. You need a larger foundation to build to go higher. This is not there. You need a larger foundation so you can go higher. So the more low level buildings you have, the more the more um. Uh, sanctuary tier. Tier buildings, uh, holdings you have, the more stronghold tier holdings you unlock, and the more stronghold holdings you unlock, you have, the more cities, city tier holdings you unlock. So, um, essentially, that means that since normally, uh, you can't really, like, you, I would not have finished converting a single county to elven culture by now, if you're playing with the normal settings. Um, so normally what you got to do is you, you build an absolutely astronomical amount, like as much as possible. You load up every single barony you've got. And then you, when you conquer stuff, find the biggest holding, like you, you go to Mistrand, you immediately go to Mistrand and, and convert this. And then you get all of those new holdings because you, you need as much as possible to increase your, your potential amount of, uh, high level refuges. And since Elven Holdings take ages, it was literally going to take 13 years to build this. Yeah, it takes a base of 13 years. Thankfully, I'm, I have a ton of stewardship perks. And uh, and um, I've also got a really, really good steward here. So it decreases the, cha the, the time by a lot. But um, normally, stupid amounts of time. Turns out, there just aren't a lot of elves. He's still trying to claim my throne, by the way. He's come of age, and he's he's decent. He's decent. Hevelon has come of age. He's, he's fine. Military engineer is good, so can't, I can't complain. Um... Go, go, go court someone. Find, find hot singles in your area. Ah. Excellent. 4,200 years old. Excellent. You're perfect for each other. So she is a noble. So... What is he gonna do now? What does he think he's doing? Okay, here we go, Huz. Here we go. Dude, you really should have just taken Darwinian. You really should have, but you didn't. You didn't do it. You could have, but you didn't. Impatient, yeah. Well, I... 
I don't want her. I don't, I don't want him to end up like like Aramagor, who literally needs to be told. He literally needs to be told to to, to get married. Otherwise, he won't. Also, there ain't no time to waste. It's a yeah. I mean, I'm not breeding anymore. I had the one kid, and I'm done. That's part of that. That's that's why. Um, he's got to get married right now. He he doesn't get to wait. He doesn't get to wait. He needs to get married. No, the AI does it. Oh oh oh! You're talking about. Uh, okay, you're talking about like what the AI does. No. No, no, the AI does it on their own. Like, that's... If you're wondering, like, th that's why I keep checking on... Oh, he's not landed! I'm stupid. I'm very stupid. Um... There currently isn't a finished script. There's... there's it, it's intended for um courtiers to um be able to but i don't think they can at the moment the landed characters can yeah so only landed elves can at the moment which is a problem but or at least i think so Uh, as, because only landed characters can take decisions. So, um, I'm just gonna straight up look for them. I'm gonna look for pregnant elves. <laughs> I'm literally gonna just look for pregnant elves. All. Literally none. There's no pregnant elves anywhere. Or, no level one. Okay, there's some... Level two ones... Level three, no. Four, no. There's a couple level two, and by a couple I mean one couple of uh, people in my kingdom. We're barons. There's a couple barons here. These two. Wait, she she is the, has this, and then she got married to this dude who I okay okay, great. Interesting. Are there plans for neutral... Uh, are there plans for neutral or evil elves or dwarves? Um, okay, okay. This is a very... This is a very, like, um, specific subject that gets, like, there's a ton, this gets debated in the Discord a lot. Uh, and, and as for, as for, like, it's, it is intended, I, I don't, so, so, um, yeah, uh, uh elves, elves get having kids, I don't actually know. I'm not giving out secret plans, no, don't worry about that. I'm 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 not I'm not giving out secret plans. I'm I'm just telling people about you know, what's not gonna happen. Okay. Um. What was I? What was my train of thought? Also, you spelled don't wrong. Take that. Ah. Uh, Why do I have a DM?
Sorry, I got a DM by a, I, I got pinged by a dev, uh, like 20 minutes ago and I didn't notice, so. Um. Um. What? What? You are you implying that I am letting him change what I tell you? Nah. Nah. The 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 thing the thing that he's implying that the the thing that he thought I was gonna talk about is my own project. So. It's my own project for the future, so it wouldn't even it wouldn't even matter if I told you about it, because it's it's my deal anyway. So you know, but um, so there is a debate. It comes up all the time, and it's really annoying in the Discord, the Discord meaning the Realms Discord, uh, where people keep coming in and they ask about evil elves, and I'm going to say this now. So people know, I mean, this is a, this is buried in the middle of a several hour long stream, but the point is, and I'm going to say it as many times as I need to, there are no evil elves, and there never are going to be any evil elves. And by that, I mean Tolkien's specific definition of evil. Because in this setting, evil means... That you worship, worship, are a follower of and worship the Dark Lord. Either of them. This means it is a very contentious subject on the dev team as to whether there will even be evil dwarves. Because the dwarves were not even being able to be corrupted and, and into serving Sauron when they had rings. Even the rings only made the dwarves into self-serving fuckwits. So, there will be, as far as dwarves go, I'm not going to talk about anything specific. But, there are going to be absolutely dickish dwarves. There are going to be dwarves that are absolute assholes. I can say that. And they don't give a fuck about anyone but themselves. That's going to happen. That's confirmed to happen. Anything more specific than that, I'd be it would be a disservice to you to talk about because not because it hasn't been set in stone. So, evil dwarves Probably not either. Probably not. Even neutral elves? Probably not. Elves are in the Children of Iluvatar family. Their religion is in the Children of Iluvatar family. And I think it's rather unlikely that you will find any elven characters that the dev team decides are worth giving a religion that isn't an elven faith. And you literally can't convert elves to a different religion. When you have elven characters, they literally, they get a elven religion and they are stuck with that faith. So. Um... Oh, oh, on the subject, so yeah, on the subject of evil dwarves, um, and, and evil elves, yeah, um, returning to that subject, remember, the reason this is a contentious subject, and, and it, like, comes up in the Discord all the time, um, the dev team is all 100% on the same side, though. There's no debate on the dev team as to the nature of evil dwarves and evil elves. 
we all know what we think, but there's people that come in and we need to we need to argue with. So there are lots of characters. There are plenty of elves who are awful people in the lore. Plenty meaning there's some named characters. Uh, it's exception. There are exceptions. There are exceptions. Like there, there are exceptions to the norm that they are dickish elves. Most elves are not dickish. Most elves are really good people. Most of them are. Just in general, they're just they're just good. Good people. You you know what I mean. They're they are positively aligned. But some are rash and selfish, and yet they still all wor always worship the Valar. That's the important thing. They all they all wor worship a good faith, even though they're awful people. They still worship the Valar and Eru. And even the worst one, the example that everyone always brings up, it's always the same example. People always bring up this special, this specific dude. I forget his name, but there's a specific elf, the one who betrayed Gondolin. And people always bring this fucker up, and they're like, uh, uh, but, but, but it's like Maeglin or something. And they're like, but, but, but Maeglin, he, he worked with Sauron, or Morgoth, rather, or I don't even remember which one it was. Fuck. They're both the same, but different. Anyway. I forget which Dark Lord did what sometimes. But the point is, people get people go in like, but he worked with them, the Dark Lord on this one this situation. No. Well, yes, he did, but there's a lot of reasons for it, and he's the only example of that ever happening, and only working with him. So the most extreme example ever have it happening... Yeah, exactly. The most extreme example, the closest thing you ever get? Exactly. Exactly, Malo. Yes. Exactly. Always. Always. Always, always, always. There have to be exceptions that help define the rules. There's always exceptions. So the there is there there's you've got the rule. The rule is elves are good. The exceptions are pushing it towards there's self self interested elves, especially young elves, who do self serving things. There, that is why you're not going to be playing elves, and it's like, oh, convert to evil faith. Here we go. Elves, elves. Now, 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 I'm playing a evil elf in in like I've, I've switched Galadriel. Oh, Galadriel got the ring of power. That means she should change to be an evil faith. No. No, that's not how this works. If Galadriel gets the ring of power, for example, I mean, it's not in, but like she would just become extremely self-serving and try to make her own dominion. That doesn't mean that she worships the Dark Lord. There. As for dwarves, like I said, we don't know for sure what's going to be happening as far as actually evil dwarves. There's a good chance there won't be, but I can't say anything specific because we're still... Malo and I, for example, still, like, neither of us are devs yet. I'm, I, I, I want to become a dev. But um, we still get in, like, voice calls and randomly talk about, like, even, like, the concept of what dwarven areas, like, areas that dwarves will be in will look like. So, like, it's so far ahead of us. It's so far away. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Oh, that's a good, that's a good healthy rant. Always, always nice to get a good healthy rant out of the way. Yeah, yeah, well. Yeah, you're the lead tester. So, um. Why are you blue, then? Why are you blue? Huh? Why are you blue? You're, you're just, you're just the lead of the testers, yeah? Because Jamie hates colors? Well, so, if I become orange, if I become orange, Remarod, who's, who's higher rank? What? Huh? Who's higher? Who's higher, a, a, a dev or the lead tester?
<laughs> you answer to the lead devs? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. I got you, I got you. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Surely, sure, surely, surely they'll, they'll, um, Surely they'll make me a, a, a dev after. Is it in? Did I get it in? Yes! I, I didn't remember if I put it in. No, only the phalanx. Damn it. Ah. Oh. I was just gonna, uh, I, I was, I was gonna say, surely, surely I'll get, I'll get, I'll get dev if I, I, I keep making uh, art. But yeah, this is the uh this is the new art for the um the Bellicarani phalanx. I also made art for the uh, uh Bellicaz Outriders and um for the Bellicaz Outriders and and what else? What was it? The I got this all organized in a folder. Why isn't it easy for me to find this? I literally made folders for this. Um Here's the, the Bellicaz Outriders pick. Uh, of course, all the, all the pictures I make, every, every Men at Arms artwork is subject to change. Uh, I'm still learning all the time. Uh, so that's the Bellicaz Outriders. Uh, and here are the uh Bellinarud. Uh the the one that no one uses. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's that's the thing with my art. Cause you look at you look at like this for example, it would be about this size when you're playing. Picture that. It would be like this size or smaller. Whereas I put a lot more work into trying to make them look good than I should sometimes. Because, like, think about, like, it's that size. So when it when it's really big, it's like, oh, I mean, this looks kind of weird. But then you, you realize, like, oh, if this is how you're seeing it most of the time. I've, I've been actually, um, I've been experimenting as well with, um, I'm trying to make, if people don't mind me rambling on for a bit about some of the stuff I'm working on, um, uh, thanks to Remorod, who's still here, um, I'm trying to make the, um, the whites, because, uh, Dol Guldur has all white, they've got, they've got white units. Uh, this is all, this is AI, I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning AI art. So, yeah, this is all just AI stuff, yeah. Um, nah, I won't show the I, I won't show the whites yet. That'll wait for another time, I think. But I will. So so I'm having a I'm having a conversation now. Apparently apparently someone somehow saw a situation. Apparently someone on the dev team. Um Apparently someone saw a situation where Huz Margos 
Well, yeah, there is. Yeah, I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to be streaming Saturday, of course. I'll, I'll be streaming Saturday for the, the Dev MP, and we're going to be having a Dolgaldur player, so yeah. Um, the the Morgul Whites and Blighted Trappers models will be in. They're, they're, they're 3D. 3D? Fucking not 3D. Their 2D icons will be around by then. Uh, I need to make stuff for orcs, too. But, um... um, 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 um. Yeah, someone, apparently someone on the dev team saw a situation where, um, somehow, Hoz got Sauron to help him attack Dorwinian, which is so bizarre. I, I, I'm trying to figure out how it happened. It's, it's like... You, you asked me to what? You asked me to what, and I said hell no. So itchy, right? What? What? I don't. I don't know what what you're talking about. I'm genuinely not sure what. Oh, make orcs? Oh, that's a joke. That's a joke. I was joking. Orcs need it badly. Oh, and there was someone, someone was asking, yeah, Dan, Dan, Dan was asking about the upper Zonim. Yeah, uh, stuff, stuff like the, um, I'll, I'll speed up time, actually, I guess I've been paused. Um, stuff like, <laughs> Gondor's got all the DAC units, for example, um, that stuff's really low priority, because, because they've got stuff, like, Gondor's got DAC units, um, we, we've got all the Abrazanum units, they've got DAC stuff, it's really not the best pictures, but that stuff can all wait. Um, cause, cause like, we're dealing with stuff like, uh, the Haradrim Raiders and Desert Javelineers don't have any models. They don't have anything at all, so. That's the, that's the, the, she's the one who's been doing it. You're the one, the whole time, you're the one who's been doing this. Wait, where'd the claim go? That's so weird. Aw, he's friends with his dad! That's, that's just, that's sweet. Truly. Truly, he's the main character. Truly, was Margos is the secret main character, yeah. Uh, I mean, secret. What, 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 what secret? I... <laughs> uh, that's, that brings me, that, that, that reminds me of another thing I had to, I, I had to, like, explain. Um, I, I had to explain to, to members of the team. Um, because th there's a lot of situations like this where, um, um, because the dev team spends, because, like, I'm trying to become a modder, but, you know, I stream games and stuff. I still play the game. So, um, oh my god, they wasted that. Ramrod, how could you, how dare you? Why'd you put his, his coat of arms for this county? No! Use it for Olgathavold or something. What, don't waste the, the only dragon one we have on that. You s Why is Surik Air conquered Mistrin? This is so cursed. Someone's trying to murder me, really? Absurd. This human with absurdly good stats. What happens if I try to murder? What 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 happened if murder Elrond now? Yeah, none chance. None. Need custom dragons first. Okay, okay. Sure. Makes sense to me. Oh, completely forgot. I was I was. 
going on a rant. I, I, I was about to go on a rant about how uh, it's it's really funny how I um as as a dude who is currently um just a I'm I'm currently a tester contributor on the team, and this it, it leads to funny situations where because a lot of the dev team are they're they're. they're there's there's a lot of people in their 30s and older. That's that's most of the dev team. In fact, I think probably the whole dev team that's active right now is 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 in their 30s or older. Uh, except maybe one dude. There might be one dude I think who isn't. Um, is in late late 20s. But um, and as a result, they and they don't play and they don't play the the actual game much. They spend their time modding instead. So there's a lot of situations where I need to explain things. Like, like, me and, like, the other testers need to, like, except Remoron, because he's, he's a boomer. He's, he's, he's technically, yeah, different. But, um, we need to explain concepts to them. I, I sound like I'm talking down to them. I'm not trying to. It's, there's, there's things they don't understand about the players of the mod. Like, for example, um, some one of the devs was talking about Margot's. And he was saying that there's this weird obsession with Margos. Cause because you see they're seeing people in, in um just general chat talking. They're they're just seeing people in just general chat talking about who's Margos and, and they're and they just they're just up in, in the dev channels just confused, like, why is this a thing? Why is this is weird? Like there's no there shouldn't be any reason for this. Oh, it was you, wasn't it? It was you who was who was saying that that, <laughs> that there's a weird obsession with him, and that I explained to, to you <laughs> why that is, and the reason, quite simply, is because he is the equivalent up here. There's two. Th there's multiple reasons. One, one, he is the equivalent of the Adunai, because the all the Adunai fans who like they like people. Like, like the Numenorians of the coast for the south. The people who play them in the south will look at him and think, he is, he's edgy evil man who wants to restore evil empire. So, that's cool. I like that. And, and he's that for the north. Um, and then, two, there's the people who, there, there's all the people who like genetics. There's, there's all the people who, who like uh, to do, do genetic stuff. And and for those people, it's they're, they're like you know in the south they're, they're like oh okay I, you know, ha ha ha, Niluhin's kids, look at them they have such good stats. They have such good stats. I had to refrain myself multiple times from giving him uh like, a starting wife that has good stats, just just to make him the equivalent of them in the north. But essentially he is, he's essentially the closest thing in the north to what you have in the middle with um, Aragorn's kids, and in the south with Niluhin's kids. If you just, so, so that's th this is where it all comes from. There's like big quest chain to conquer lots of shit and be super evil, and and, and then also he's got he's big. So <laughs> there's a lot of reasons why people like him. Yes. It, it, yes. Yeah, I was I was just explaining the um the uh the reasons that like the same people that that like the Adunai translate their love from the Adunai over to him in the north. But um yes. Also he's hard. I'm so glad to hear people say that. People people it means so much to me to hear people say when they look at him that he's cool because there's love put into his his quest chain and that he's not easy because that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted him to to I wanted him to be a good like he's a choice that you can pick if you want something that's like you're an empire but it's still not easy. You've got stuff you need to do. That's that was the goal. And then I thought and yeah and and then yeah, yes, it's cool. Thank you. And then, of course, I mean, I mean, it's 
it's gonna crash. It's gonna crash. It's gonna crash. Just you wait. It's gonna crash. There's a 50% chance. Where does Medlosha Cain come from? As in the language? I don't know what the I don't know where the name comes from. Um It's probably gonna crash because Margoz has just decided to duel me. He's probably gonna beat the fuck out of me. This is with my bow. This is with the Galathrum bow. He's still gonna absolutely destroy me. He's got no artifacts except the crown. He's got the Boontig's crown, which, you know, whatever. So, yeah, on the subject of what Milo is saying, if I, if when I say Remorod, that's this dude as well, by the way. He's, he, he just, it's just his different name. So if you see, if you're someone from the Discord, if you didn't know, that's, that's him. Malo. Malo Diablo is his, his other name. Um, so yeah, on, on the subject of what he was saying, continuing on that, that thought process, if, if the question is, where does it come from? As in the lore? And, and the name? Yes. I don't know where, like, the root of the language comes from or something, if that's what you're talking about. But yeah, it means Golden Realm. And it is formed from, as he says, the Golden Army, which was a army that was essentially put together by uh, influencers of, of Sauron. He, he put, put together an army out in the east, uh, and they, they marched they marched over this way. That's, that's, that's the briefest run-through, because I have a tendency to just ramble on for ages. Uh, oh, the Bizarre Ganoush guy's gone now, isn't he? Yeah, so sad. I can't wait to make... I'm gonna make something for them. I'm gonna make something for them eventually. Not now, because none of their land is in except this one duchy, but it's gonna happen. So you wait. Anyway. Crashed, didn't it? Yep. AI transcended. I, I, I'm now looking at this elegance of empire thing. I didn't even hear know about this. Was was this was the elegance of empire thing announced? Like before today, or did it just like get shadow dropped? Because I never knew about this. Like, I, I just earlier today found out about this elegance of Empire thing that came out today in the roadmap that we've got. Crusader Kings 3 Chapter 2. Yeah, th th there's no way this was announced. Did, was this, did, did this drop today and it was announced today? It's pretty off. What does it give? So tours. Oh, oh, oh! It gives tours and tournaments as well. That's involved. Oh, that's a decent. That's a good price. Yeah, I'm actually not. I'm not. I'm not upset about that price. Huh. I'm just waiting for the game to relaunch, and I'm looking at the store page. Where's the chapter two? Where did that where did they go? This is not they need to fix this store page. Chapter two. And it's a bundle. But we don't know what's gonna be in all of those. Huh. Weird. Oh, 
We'll also get the Legacy of Persia. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at that now. Do we know anything about this stuff? What is it? Coming soon. Yeah, it's just it's, it's, it's a flavor pack. So something about Persia. I I I'm hopeful for that. I like I like. What the, I can't keep scratching my nose. It's gonna make it worse. Um, the dramatic struggle for survival and empire in the lands between the Euphrates and special attention. Uh, do, 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 do. new systems for clan. Okay, we do actually know some stuff about these things. New systems for clan governments. Clan government rulers and expands on the Islamic and Zoroastrian religion. Okay, that's good. Yep, there's going to be Avari in the far south. I uh, I have a the vaguest I I have the vaguest idea of where, but you know, the lore master um is prone to change his mind sometimes on specific details like that. Sorry, Marcos. No duel today. I need to start reading them again. I I, I kind of just stopped reading Crusader King's Dev Diaries and just waiting to hear, waiting to hear about stuff on my own. Uh, yeah, at, at absolute least, there's going to be a homeland somewhere. I'm not going to say where exactly, because, I mean, I don't even know exactly where it is, but uh, somewhere here, within, within, somewhere in this peninsula, there'll be, there'll be at least a homeland. Yeah, I've kind of, um... OPB really is like the, the the fact he's really got me thinking I like, uh, just just like his all his dev diaries he's been doing forever it's it's really starting to make me think that I should try I should I should try doing um dev diary things like what he does for games on mods I could do I could do dev diary kind of videos where I could try and talk about upcoming stuff. That'd be neat. Why do you have no men? What's going on here? Hmm. Delta Ray? Well, unfortunately, the, um, the sailing mechanics have been disabled for people in the Sea of Rune. So, I can't go sailing. Um, yes. Uh, we do. We do have an elven homeland. The Susa Sumar. Ah, yes. Crest one. Well, to do that, we will need to get down there somehow. And to get down there, we need to somehow pass a lot of area. My son's second son. He... Ah, yes. Already making friends. Oh, apparently I'm not obese anymore. That's cool. I like not being obese. Uh, six months until... Oh, six months until we can attack Margos again. Administrator's good. What next? Huh. 
might even play a whole nother game of vanilla. Whoa, but why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that when when um you could just play ga a Game of Thrones instead? Zero martial skill. Let's get scholarship focus. Truce ends one month early. Wow. So useful. Um, yeah, it's, I, I guess it's a little late now for it. Whoops. Well, we can holy war for the kingdom. How, how much? How much is it to get by the sword? 7,000. Time to start uh, not selling trivial titles anymore. Time for all the prestige. Illusion. I'm already <laughs> I'm already doing something though. <laughs> I'm meditating in seclusion now. I love how it always says you improve your skill in meditation, but but like that doesn't really mean anything. I I, I find Kantarak outside strutting around in the yard as soon as she spots me, she meows and saunters over, rubbing up against my leg. Thank you, my friend. As an elf who's insane. Great. Store all the subjects. So we extort the subjects so that we can have feasts. That's how this works. Huh? Oh. Who do I give? Do I give this to brother? Brother. Armagor. Well... He, he wandered off to Huzz's court. He's an executioner still. Dude, I completely forgot that you were hanging out in his court. I should have revoked these. So that he would have had more holdings. And have been less likely to have all of his shit instantly revoked. It, it theoretically would have been, but the, the dude who was going to do that um, just kind of didn't do it. But yeah, theoretically it would be possible. Um, but instead, uh, you just, we just, we can just use it. <laughs> All right. Oh, Sauron might get involved in that.
Um, okay. Well, I'm, I'm a little spooked by Sauron, um, potentially helping. Because I, I'm, I mean, we're decently strong, but not, not, um... Not unmatched. We do not have unrivaled power. So let's take a... Let's take a, a little... A little detour. Uh, just to... Just to not be fighting my dog. Um, no! Cat died. How many new Tantra rocks am I gonna need to have? The cursed cat of Riavod. True. running yo we're in the late third age now we have evolved from monkeys fortune all the prestige we can get look at you large man that you are Maybe all the lifetime experience we have. I'm probably gonna switch to diplomacy actually. It would have been it would have been way better. <laughs> way more helpful. Uh Logath Herbs and Plants. What a lovely book. Starving elves! Starving elves! God. So strong, indeed. First perk. Ugh. I don't even know at this point. Um. Oh yeah, scientific and then plant cultivation. That's what I was wanting. But I might... Yeah, as soon as I get plant cultivation, I'm definitely gonna... It's... Scholar's so good, though, but I really want prestige. Hmm. That's not enough. And now he's going to unseat. What are you doing? Oh, he's fighting for that back. That's fair. That's fair. We're all going to die. Well, the elves are starving. Ah, who Gathervold? Who did I inherit this from? Oh, abdication from this dude. Fucking hell, dude. Can't be that hard to just not lose, surely. She can have it. Fuck you, Sargon. You've you've had enough. She's just she's just better. I'm I'm I'm, I'm mostly sorry. Yes, exactly. The a book about medicine is definitely the best and most useful book for elves to have. Ah, so many wasted elven lives for something so meaningless. Oh. Here you go, Logath people. Grab, grab some land. Take it, it's free of charge. So, sent you at possible locations for a variance itself. 
Ah, I see. Thank. Much thank. Oh, oh, great! It's a, it's a sideways image. Yo, there's, yeah, there is a couple potential locations then. But fuck this, fuck this! I am not looking at this sideways ass fungus image. What the hell? Okay. Of Avari South. Me. That's ah. So, I mean, well, maybe, maybe both then, who, who knows? So, yeah, um, now I get, I'm getting a headache from having looked at that, god damn. Poor me, everyone feels sorry for me. Ugh. I have to open this goddamn image in GIMP? Stupid Discord. Most wondrous of apps. Look at look at Harwan. Isn't that beautiful? This is beautiful Harwan. Apparently Harwan... I, I haven't played Harwan new. Um, I, I haven't played Harwan in new... Um, and by new, I mean in the dev version. But, um... Uh, apparently they can in, they can grab Lerm uh, in, and add it to Dejure Harwan, which is cool. Yes, it is! It's so beautiful. I need to do another Harwan game. Is it... It's not time. No. What am I saying? It's not time for another Harwan game. It will be eventually, but now is not that time. But before I do a new Harwan game, I should do a proper campaign that finishes off a uh, uniting of Khand and then going off to conquer way too much random stuff. Yeah? He's just asking for his daughter back? I mean, I can't... Okay, fine. You know what? Sure. I can't... I can't refuse that. I can't. The poor man. Who's Margot's the merciless? He just wants his daughter back. Any elf can sympathize with that. Meditate in seclusion. Give me all the intrigue. No. Would you accept this? By this for your freedom, you mean nothing. What are you doing? Ah! A poem. That's right. I forgot. I was supposed to be sending him poems about legacy every every single time he was off cooldown. Just pulled to the stream. What is the lore about these elves? Ah, uh, well. Where's the best thing I can pull up that'll show that? Here we go. Well. What man is insane? This one? Yeah. Ash? Literally just... A I'm, I'm taking a screenshot of him. I'll explain the. I'll explain in a second. I'm taking a screenshot of this fucker. Um, he has been so blessed as a vassal. I, I do... Yeah, I think he deserves to be the one in charge of this duchy. His his descendants deserve this duchy title. Like I was gonna, I was gonna give it to this elf when he died, but I'm I'm not con. Oh wait, but she's gotten really good at stewardship. Never mind. I do still need to give it to her. But um, yes, yes, yes. Um, I will hover over the culture. Here is the culture. Um. You start playing as her father, by the way. Um. One of the Avari tribes, the Penny are descended from the members of the host of Tareg, who settled the lands of Emin Run on the northeastern shores of the Inland Sea. So, we settled here, northeastern shores of the Rune, and they are descended from essentially an army that uh, followed a um, one of the captains of this this um, 
big Avari army it, that, that took part in this huge battle that happened in the ancient past. So this dude, Lanthir, uh, who starts, you start playing as him. Um, he was a captain in the host of Tareg, um, who was a great war leader in, in of the Avari at this battle of Palasor. Um, greatest but um yeah m most es essentially he he led the greatest remnant of of the army after the battle of palasor which was like down here somewhere the first at the first temple of morgoth um and th so the the largest part of the of the remainder of the army moved up here with lanthier and and settled um so he's just been chilling here for many thousands of years just doing nothing um sometimes doing a little bit but um yeah the battle of palasor refers to the great battle fought in eastern middle earth in the first century of the first age old old as hell on one side were those who had fallen under the shadow of morgoth and his lieutenant fankil such as elmir and his people the exiled outcasts of the dwarves and many orcs and goblins so it is like it really is like another like it's the the OG Bat Last Alliance of Men and Elves, except it's just elves. It's like it's just it's just like a bunch of elves. I did this. I did I made him sail, yeah. Cause I wanted to play as his daughter. To show off the uh elven courtship stuff. But um yeah, the the the, the, the first the first temple of Morgoth, so Which is neat. Yeah, then I, I, I made him sail west. You start playing as him, then I made him sail west so that I could play as his daughter and show off the courtship. Because I wanted to, I wanted to, 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 to marry Eladan. Gotta, gotta do the courtship, my guy. Come on. Hide of the ancient hair. Great. I, I, I have an adorned dragon figurine. Wonderful. Such a wondrous day. Um, let's convert. Um. It. All these names are so ruse. It's incredible. It's incredible. You've been really enjoying Realms in Exile lore since you first played. That's that's great to hear. Um, yeah, there's um, there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff that that um, we we've got we've gotten from uh, Merp, uh, Middle Earth role play, um, and other places and and we've we've mashed that together and then taken it combined it with what we want and get this result there's there's so much stuff oh sorry you're doing well you love to see it Woo! but it's azuman and their maladomite this is so weird that's this is the weirdest outcome but um shmerp yep um so much of this map so much of this stuff that you don't see filled in we've got a really good idea of what's there and by really good idea i mean like there's lore <laughs> so we're not talking about anything specific as azumanicad yeah yeah the azumanicad's leaving soria so yeah azuman was in charge of soria what the fuck is this what is this Four, and then conquered by claim it he just claimed it for some reason for some reason he just claimed soria and now we've got maladumite soria so they're, they're they're spreading the saurian culture of course throughout all the the tejin but they're also wow this is so weird also is narixa dawn tejin 
It's a branch of the family? What the hell? Weirdest, weirdest shit. I love Soria too. However, unfortunately, it's the lame option, so it's not fun to play. What? How did you become... How did you get the kingdom? How did you get the low gather for the kingdom? And now you're about to destroy it. Now, now the kingdom is about to be destroyed by this lady. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Friend friendship with Huz Margos? How long does he have left? Yeah. Then I can't. Wait, I can still attack him even though he's my friend? I can actually I didn't know I could attack him, huh? I, I, yeah, yeah. Friendship. Friendship. Well, but in, in that case, I guess I better start fabricating claims on Eberod and then Dorwinian because we're not attacking him for a bit. It, why hasn't he attacked Dorwinian yet? Oh, Dorwinian's bulked up. Yo! Bladorthan Bulk. Oh yeah, Thorn Guard have um I've got I've got 2D uh stuff for the, the Thorn Guard and um the the bows. The Vineyard Bowman. There we go. So I've made a lot of stuff. I made a stupid amount of 2D art, so. There's also the Dalringi Bowman model now. And the Pikeman, so. He's a swell guy, yeah. He's just a pleasant. Bladorthan's trying to befriend me. The fool. The fool thinks that he can become my friend and that I won't kill him. Fool. The philosopher. Argon the philosopher. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give this to you and then I'm gonna remember you for later to give some land to. Do very eggs have art now? Um, one of their units does. Um, because I don't have I don't have um stuff for the horse archers. Um, I got something for the wind riders. They got these absolutely nasty looking axe. Like they got they got these one handed friggin. Cutting axe glaive hook things. And then they've got like this flaming sun back flags. I love it. Yeah, exactly. It's a Burdish glaive. It's a one handed Burdish glaive thing. And I'm like, that's too good. When I got this to happen, I was like, that's that's perfect. I, 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 and, oh. I, I, this is one of my favorite arts I've made so far, not gonna lie. I just, I love the sun over the mountain, and then the back flags that I got to work. I straight up, by the way, the artwork I used to get this is, I, I used the Divide and Conquer Variag Horse Axeman dudes. Like, anyone who's played Divide and Conquer, that's what I used to make this. 
<laughs> I just kept on working away at it until I got this in the end. It was hilarious. Uh, the Variag Axemen also have a model. Um, though for now it's it's a I it, it's kind of trippy to look at because it's a it's a blurry image from the um Dawnless Days mod uh for uh Total War Attila. Um and I'm not gonna look at that anymore because it's gonna hurt it hurts my eyes. But um I would like to replace it, but there's some people in the dev team who really like the, uh, those those I, I don't know why, but um, there's a couple of people on the team who, who like that style more than what I'm doing, so. Oh, oh, I didn't do the long pikemen. Someone else did. Some, someone else did the pikemen before I started learning, but they do. They do have one. The desert gem. They, they, they do have one. Um, I didn't make them. Someone else, someone else did. Uh, there we go, long pikeman. Um, look at these dudes. This av this this nasty looking parched hellscape, and they're all just covered in in these cloaks, looking like they just rose out of the sand. Uh it, it's that's pretty cool to me. I mean, the weapons could be better, but hey, like listen, listen. Mine is often worse than this. A lot of stuff I make can often end up looking worse than this, so I'm in no position to judge. Yeah, exactly. Hey, exactly. It's, yeah, they just it, it, this this gives the impression of a bunch of dudes who've just been like they've been sitting around pretending to be like lumps of sand, and then they just kind of stand up when they need to fight. Yo, they've got bonus in Savannah. The only Savannah around here is is Anaferat. Oh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make Nafarati models eventually. I really want to make the the Nafarati, uh, Men at Arms 2D art, but that's that's gonna wait. That they're like the least important thing. But uh, I I know I love I they turned out way better than they had any right to. Oh, <laughs> um. I'm also a little partial to the phalanx. The phalanx, I, I I like the phalanx. Uh, it's it's definitely one of my better ones, but you know. The the Nafarati are gonna be weird to make. Oh, the 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 lore of the Nafarati is is um they they're people they 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 come from Mumakan, uh the the kingdom down here the kingdom south of the Yellow Mountains is known as Mumakan. Uh, it's it's vaguely here um uh the place the location here used to have the same name as the cat that i kept on naming but um yeah Na nafarat people come they, they they descend from this place which is where the mumakil come from this is where the, the 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 big elephants come from originally so um i i i i'm telling them I'm literally telling them exactly what it says. They they came from they they're a splinter group of of the Mumakan people who came and crossed the mountains, and and they've become like really harsh and acclimatized to the to their region. Um, it's okay, fine. I'll look at, if it makes you feel better. I'll look at their faith. Yes, I didn't remember they were people apart. I really like that. That's cool. How dare you try to help? How very dare you? Oh, you found me an upright. <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks for the upright picture of 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 uh, theoretical elven locations. That none of them are where I would have expected. N none of neither of those locations are are the ones I would have thought of. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know you meant the Fates lore. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yes. Of old, the people of Nafar come out of the east, entering into the great jungle, and they found a river on which a golden shrine stood. There, the elders gathered and declared that it was a sign, that this was to be their home. 
Even as the jungles of Harad turned to barren waste and the river changed its course, still the faithful held true, though their kin made the arduous journey south over the mountains. Persistence determ and determination drive. These are the assets the gods praise and prize above all others. Well, no, thank you. Thank you, Remrod, actually, um, because that revealed to me something I forgot. Uh, because I, in my head, the Naferati are a weird, like, offshoot of, of, a, of the Mumakan people who just crossed the mountains and went north for some reason into the shitty desert land from their jungle. But actually, it's the other way around, where the Naferati people, the, the, you know, the Nafar, uh... Uh, they originally come from over the east coast of or the, the western coast of the Bay of Ormal, apparently. And then they, once they migrated here, and this place was pretty good. It was a jungle back then. But now it's a savanna, so it's slowly turning. It, it's turned into a savanna now, and the desert is slowly creeping in. Um, but, um... Oh, Karan Lambar is still alive. But, um... Yeah, apparently these are the these guys were here, and then the Mumakani eventually went south. Uh, yes, akin to the famed Mumakani south of the Yellow Mountains, the Nafarati people live in the scrub land between the desert and the jungles of Ray, refusing to cross the mountains with the rest of their kin in the late First Age. First Age? Well, they've been here that long? I didn't remember that they've been here that long. What the hell? What? No wonder they're only akin. That's... So oh, long ago. They've been here so, so long. Oh. Yeah. After the War of Wrath, it turns into an increasingly desert, and they've become a very aggressive people since then. Diversion morality. Do -do -do. So I'm I swear I've been drinking lots of water. I need more. More. Fuck, when did Chaos Dwarves come out? Very off topic. Very, very off topic. When the hell do Chaos Dwarves drop? Thirteenth or fourteenth? Uh, April 13th. Okay, okay. Good to know, good to know. I'm gonna make sure to finish finish playing the, the Ogre Kingdoms and, um... Finish, finish replaying Ogre Kingdoms and, and uh, the Dawi before then. Because after then I'm not gonna really be interested in playing them for a while. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Mr. Streamer, while getting while getting hydrated, asks about them. Yes, ah, he is having child. He is pregnant. Beta, my beta brother is pregnant. That's how we. That's <laughs> what a stupid thing to say. <laughs> You're still alive somehow, my friend. Good, good job. Good job staying alive that long. It's impressive. Feast. Feast. How does Lothlorien look? Really good. Really good. And I will show you. I will show you. I will show you. Take this. No, no one's killing each other. Alright. So here is Lothlorien. It is, it is much beautiful. 
very much it's it's kind of it's it's starting yeah i know um it, it's starting to lose its effect on me because because of how much i've seen of this but it's uh, is it going to be a tall paradise lothlorien lothlorien is very much a tall paradise the tall for for any okay if you play multiplayer Lothlorien, I want... Okay, the, the dude who's going to be playing Lothlorien is the lore master on the team, and he's also the dude who designed the, the buildings. He's also the guy who made the, the buildings for elves. So I really want him as much... He, he doesn't play the game much, though. So I really want him to try his best to play tall as hell Lothlorien and, and prove just how absolutely nutty it can be because it, it it no joke i'm gonna say this straight up harris galathon i am of the opinion that this is the single this 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 county has the single most defensive at least potential and probably just the best potential county in the entire mod until Casa Doom. Until Casa Doom is in the mod. Because Casa Doom is and, and I'm gonna say not even like a single county. It's gonna be like the entirety of Casa Doom. To to rival this. This this county is quite possibly going to be the single best county in the entire mod. Ever. I don't think there's gonna be any like Ugh. I don't know what could be better. I, I really don't think... I can't think of what could be better. So yes. um, Tall Paradise. Fill out... Fill out all of these counties with as many... Just build build as many... Um, elven holdings. Build build as many holdings in, in um, Lothlorien as you can. Convert... Convert the Leofrings to your culture. Go go take over Southern Mirkwood as well. If if you want to, but you don't even need to. If you feel like it. Okay, okay, what is this? What is this? Isn't the Aradanayam Island strong as hell eventually? Yes. However, it's only a single it, it's only a single county. A single barony. Um Personally, I would like to see uh, this. I would like to see this holding. Um, I, I would like to see every single one of these islands be its own barony and have them all connected with straits. That's what I want. I want this to have like as many baronies as possible, just because it's stupid, and and it would help. It would fit even more with the theme of of the whole like um, island metropolis from nothing, and then this. That would make Anaxion the most powerful county potential in the mod. But, you know, that would require it having the extra baronies. Unless that happens, no. Um, not even close. Oh, it definitely... If, if that happens, it definitely wouldn't happen for the next update. That's a big maybe if it ever happens. But, um, yeah, elves, elves crazy. I, I, what was this? What was this about cave? This is, yeah, you were talking about the funny, the funny, small cave. What face did I just make? The fuck was that face? Weird. That was a, that was a goofy fucking face I made. Um, okay, small cave. Small cave. Gives you 1,000 levies. It's a really good, I have to admit, this is a pretty damn good holding. It only works for elves, though. If you're playing Huzmargaz and you and you take over this, you don't get to use this. It's only for Avari. Uh, maybe, maybe just elves in general. Um, yeah. Mm, that's its stats. You go over, look at the heart of Elvendom. 
five, five, five tax. That's a whole flat plus five tax. Plus, plus five to your tax is a lot of tax. It's not even a legendary elven city yet, and it's it doesn't have any like actually good buildings. The storehouses are decent, but it, it, like the rest of its buildings are all for military stuff to make sure that she doesn't get her ass beat. level court authority resplendent raiment for five years that's not a long time but yes i will do it better guild hall please how long does it take you to earn enough money to build stuff you useless plebeians is R ray has a special elven building no Um, yeah, um, Ray, it's literally just this forest, and it does, it technically does have a special building for me. Technically, because, uh, the Avari can rebuild Pred. Uh, which apparently this has all been feudalized. <laughs> uh, yeah. Feudal position of rude dudes. Oh, there's feudal honing people. That's that's neat. Um, now nah, you know what? But oh, he is really strong though. By himself, he's really strong. And then Mordor. Huh. Actually, I think I might need to tweak his decisions. I think I need to tweak one of the costs for one of his decisions. Oh, I wouldn't show now. Never mind. So large man. Drifting apart. We're not friends anymore. We're not friends anymore? But think about legacy. He mocked! He mocked my poem about legacy? Sure, before before I do, before I go and slap him upside the head. What wait is why aren't they fighting? Why aren't they fighting? This is really sus. Um, but yeah, yeah, Athelan Athelan is, is an elven is an elven homeland. Um uh, you you can you can rebuild it. This is what it does right now. Um I'm gonna save this in case it fucks up my progression on elven conversion. But, um Please. Uh, this is so yeah. It's essentially a nothing county, uh, except it gives you a tiny bit of prestige, which is neat. But, um, you can uh, you can b rebuild the haven if if you um. Actually, I kind of think that this should still give you the uh, plus domain limit. Because it's still only a single barony. That's not that great. But yeah. There's this oh you can you can original one, I think, actually, yeah. This is the this is the original one, and then uh you can rebuild you can restore and rebuild it uh, if you're an elf. So then it's like actually pretty darn good. Uh of course it's absurdly expensive. So, um, you know, that's a thing.
who dares to just die on me like that? Alright. Well, now that this has been converted... Who is a good... You are a good, but you're a vassal of someone else. Oh, yes, that's right. I wanted... I, want, I actively wanted to give this guy land. I was saving him. Yes. So now... By incredible big brain strategy. Now that I've done this, he gets Gazar Opul. And thus, we have Targan the Philosopher, and he is a duke who gets to rule all of these humans, so I don't have to deal with them. No, 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 fuck you. We were friends. He's gonna beat my ass somehow if I attack him, I just know it. What is his army? How will Legolas live in Athelion? Something tells me that that is not actually gonna be a thing in the mod. Something, something tells me, I'm not sure what. I just have this nagging sensation. He doesn't actually have horses, so I don't need to, to recruit pikes. That's funny. In fact, all of the units he does have are units that are countered by by the new Navari. So, um... Hmm. It would be, oh, such a terrible shame if... if 60 of them descended upon you. I've I've never I've never felt such Baruch Kazad Kazad Imanu energy from playing elves. Where are elven axemen? I don't think there's any elf. I just realized I don't think there's any elf faction that has met uh, axemen men at arms right now. This is a problem. I must fix it. No, I can't. I, that's not my job. I'm not. I'm not the. I'm. I'm not the um dev in charge of men at arms yet. I will be. I will be. Just you wait. No, there isn't. There's not a single elf unit that has axes. Yeah. Even here. This is the bizarre part. We've got Nelyar and Swordsman. Yeah! If the... Oh, fuck. Yes, yeah, Sindar axes. When when um when we get to Eriador, I will... I will scream until we get Sindar axes. I will make them... I, I will make them myself. It's not hard. I say that like it's hard. It's so easy for me. Like I, I really, I, I, I can, I. Wait, you just romanced my bodyguard, dude. Wait, you're not soulmates, but you, you can, you can still marry. Because friend. I don't know how this works, but okay, you can marry my greedy cynical arrogant body no do why would i do that though she's not good she's not a good character and i'd theoretically be playing as him should marry lady anorine the unrelenting but she's landed in kugathable so It's not hard to make men at arms. People just don't know how. Friends with debatable benefits, yeah. She's got so much martial. 20 base prowess be like. I mean, she's the person I've been trying to get him to romance forever. Fuck it. He's not gonna... At, at this rate... Oh, <laughs> romance this lady. I really want you to romance her because then there's a slight chance that you'd have all three genetic traits, which would be awesome. He is 35. Don't push the boy. Yes, I'm going to push the boy. 
I will push him. I will push him off a cliff. Thank you for the extra learning. <laughs> What's an inspiration I should... I, I don't have armor. That's an adventure inspiration. Go adventure to Darwinian. I, I definitely would like that. Trust your instinct. Ah, yes. Lay with me. <laughs> uh, teach the steward even more. He has 35 skill. 35 skill. I, I don't, wait, that, that would be me removing his own county. That would be a little silly now, wouldn't it? Instead, we can. I think. Does it look. De yeah. That does not look great. Change in direction. Traveler claiming to be employed under my beneficiary. Um, he's in good health. The, ah, yes, yes, artifacts. Please! Please find it. Oh, there's, there's, there, there, please! No, don't be exploring the hills, you need to explore the river. Dasty Goran, yeah, yeah. You're gonna hang out in Ukrainian village number five with bears. He's not good at combat. He's wrathful. He's totally someone who would fight. Oh. No. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> How many? Yeah, where, where, where is this adventure, though? No! You didn't get the special one. You just got a renowned fox pelt. Great. Yeah, it's magnificent. Friend. Great, renowned. Huh? I didn't read! I didn't read! It's the Fabulous She event! Oh god, that was risky. I wasn't reading. Oh. Oh fuck. Nos Eol, daughter of the horse. <laughs> yeah, real sus. This is real sus indeed. <laughs> <laughs> She's just a mysterious, just a mysterious Noldor woman. <laughs> hmm. Alright, alright. You're gonna depose him. I just put him in charge. 
He's he's pregnant. Leave the man alone. I'm just gonna put him back in charge when you take him. I'm just gonna put him back in charge. That's just how this works. Here you go, friend. Now get 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 cracking. Get get back to it. Uh, from near and far is actually good house words. Oh my gosh, he just keeps getting more men. Why hasn't he attacked Viridian? I just want you to attack Viridian so I can feel comfortable in attacking you. Aunt. But I need I need claims and I'm not getting claims really. Hey, just as I say that I get a claim on Dutchie. Um Sure. Why not why not start fabricating claims on Darwinian? Yeah, but these are good people. I can't declare holy wars on them. <laughs> I can't declare holy wars on good boys and girls. But yeah, I, I, I do have the ability to declare holy wars. Yay, urbanization, I guess. Alright, face him down now. Well, there is a basis for a claim here, yes. So you gotta run into the mountains to fight me. Zooty boar. I'll fight him. No, that's not enough. Jeez. How are you still alive, my guy? How? He has a daughter. He's not finished raising a child, though. He can have more. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's... Darwin Rim. Who's this genius man? The Darwin Rim person conquer this? Huh, interesting. That's fine. Hel hello, Dorwin Rim, dude. I don't actually want to be ready that. Sadvar, no. Who is a Who's a car? Yes. Yeah, there's, there is, you know, there's potential for good third sons. 
500 gold to usurp Iberad. Thank you for Eorvald claim. Please. Oh, he's dead now. He died of being old. He became infirm. And Gondor? Ah, they did fight a war. But I missed it. I missed my opportunity. That's really annoying. <laughs> Uh He has been pregnant for a long time. Man, oh my god. What inspirations can I go go adventuring people? There's a fish worshipping the uh, old gath person. Go to Dolgoldur. Oh, Go. Go, just just go, yeah. I should get groomed to rule to boost my kid stats. Don't worry, I will make everyone pay. They will all pay! And great, my son now has murdered someone. Wonderful. Oh, thank goodness everyone believes it. Oh, fucking. This is the. Oh. Hunting accidents be like. Yep, you just accidentally murder someone, as, as you do. Big. What? Necklace of ostrich shell beat. Give it. Yeah. Bruce with her is over, but I have no. No justification for war. I have no. I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, he is attacking. He's got. He's pressing his daddy's claim. Yes. These orcs. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him take it. Yeah, you're just you. you you've gone everywhere. Jeez. Your bandits on the road. Fine, just pay him. I don't know what this orcs are. What are you talking about? Stop trying to murder people. Jeez. Great. I have a elegant staff thing. Oh, 
honey cakes. Yeah, okay. People need to stop trying to murder me, jeez. No, I, I haven't done an embassy to the Woodland Realm. I I I need I need to have seven hundred gold, but I've I've needed all the gold I've had I have for other stuff, so I just haven't done it. Oh no! Oh no! You should not be a human with that. You're just gonna keep giving me messages. I'm gonna keep giving me messages about uh, having too much stuff. It's, uh, it's gonna keep saying invalid contract. I don't want that at all. Who's up? Capable vassal. You would be a good spy master, Mr. One Legged Man. I I pronounce you the, the Arfin of that. Funny, Armagor thinks he's worth being on my council. He isn't. He is a loser. There's no. I, I just I just haven't. And now now I'm getting the claims I want. Ugh. I would be able to declare war for all of that. Got 37 stewardship. Wow. Keep spending the money, but I need to. Who? This lady just just took it. Okay, okay, sure. to have this. That spy master was really good at his job. That's a lot of people joining this war that I did not expect and did not want to see join a war against me. Jeez. I mean, sure, I'm being a tyrannical bastard, but... Um... Just, just let me. Straight up sieged my capital! Holy, they stole my chest! Sargon stole my chest! That's all my extremely good counselors, pretty much, off the council because they're at war with me. Holy. I can't 
can't even just say, oh, it's the humans, because it's not. I've got elven vassals fighting me too. This is straight up a kinslaying. What the hell? New kinslaying just dropped. I have no idea. Why are you able to fight wars? Oh, because you're not under me. Okay. I can't revoke this title because she... There we go. Ugh. <sighs> Hey, here, take it, and please, huh? Oh, it's not, it's not made anymore. Well, fine, you don't, you don't need to have it, I guess. Now Armagor's off the council again, hee <laughs> hee. I am never gonna... <laughs> this is what I get for expanding my realm. I'm never gonna be able to... Uh, actually pay to, to have another... Where'd he go? Oh, your dad died. I see. I'm never gonna be able to actually pay to have... Uh, another embassy because I have to maintain this country uh, do we have a goal for Nalornia? Um me technically but the game no because Nalornia is is canonically just they canonically just kind of sit around The, the um the, the the recolonization of Ray, uh is is um yeah the the, the uh quote unquote yeah re the um yeah playing as the Avari and returning here is like the only that's the only long term thing you can really think of so I I have done a world conquest but I haven't wait no no I haven't done a world conquest I've done a um. I've done Numenor in Exile, but not World Conquest. Um, it would be much less fun. It would be so, like, not really fun to do as an elf. I'm sure. Um, I did, I did Numenor in Exile as the Aradonaiam. Oh, look, he's still around. But, um... Oh, I should totally do it. I should totally do an Arad and I am World Conquest once uh, uh, I get some some actual art for their Men at Arms. That would be cool. But um, I did um Haruzan takes back all of uh Harad. Nope, nope. Numenor in Exile is for anyone that's Numenorian. Uh, I I did. I, I, um, I even did Numenor, Numenor in Exile as a Noferati hybrid culture. I played as a Noferat, and I hybridized with Belikaz, and, and then I formed Numenor in Exile by being a hybrid culture that had Numenor in heritage. All you need to do is be Numenor in heritage. So... I guess that even includes the the, the Lamedonian, a divergent culture that just happened. Okay. Um, 
Oh, people wouldn't know about this. Um, or or Rod Bedroom. Or Rod Bedroom uh, is a hybrid culture that exists on GameStart. Um, the new the, the, the dev version. Um, there there's start the game starts with a bunch of Eredrim counties all along the northern mountain range here, uh, the White Mountains. Uh, but the or over time as the game goes on, the Orid Bedrim hybrid culture absorbs it and um, and it absorbs any uh, Gondorian culture counties that the uh, the lords have. Why? What? Why it was fun? What do you mean? What do you What are you saying? I'm confused. When her Lewin always diverged, <laughs> well, people still diverge. So you here, you this dude with his. His big friend, he's like, yeah, this dude who's probably got a bunch of, yeah, he's got the special soldiers descended from, oh my god. Yeah, he thinks he's gonna beat me in a, in a war, okay. okay. Little does he know how this works. Dumbass. In your evil game, you took the sword and slowly became invincible? Oh, took by the sword. Yes. Yes. Uh, world conquest is not, like, an intended thing. <laughs> uh, this game is very different from others that Paradox makes, so conquering the world in Crusader Kings, where you have to you, you you control a world full of people as not as not easy but speaking of by the sword I've now just been able to get it so I would need it I may as well take it because if I theoretically did actually play all the way until I got down to Ray. I would definitely need by the sword. But I, I need to you know. You lost. You dumbass. How'd you lose that? Huh? Independent stewards of Gondor Osgiliath. Now that's kinda cursed. Whew. And not intended. I can guarantee that. Alright. Well, if they're not going to take Norwinian, then I sure as hell will take Eastern Norwinian. And then I'll leave the West to just be itself. Yeah, there's their army. That's that's the might. I didn't even notice. Like they, they threw their whole army into me. The entire Darwinian patricians gave him the legal authority to raise the army. Brings his whole ass Darwinrim army up. And that's what happens. So what should we do with, um, because I, I was, I was about to give, um, yeah, Uzravar to, to Aramagor, but, yeah, maybe, okay, okay, maybe I should keep that plan. I'll keep, give, give Aramagor, uh, and, and his, his branch of the family, um, yeah, Uzravar, and, and then I guess if I took the rest of Dorwinian, I could give that to my son. Because he's not going to have kids unless he's landed. Why? 
What did I hate, U U Ujavar? What do you mean I hated it as his? Um, if you're talking about, like, the, the icon, I like the old icon better. I actually really don't like this icon for the kingdom of Ujravar. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what you're referring to when you say I really did not like it. No! I like it. I'm I'm annoyed that it doesn't that that um it got changed because I don't like it. But you know what? It's not a dwarf icon, so I can only care so much. Elven settlement again. Again, again, again. Straight up removing all Olgath culture in, in this part of the world. Uh... You might be wrong. No, you are wrong. Joffrey's son. Oh no. Joffrey's still alive. What the fuck? I captured him too. Wow. What? He has so much money. What the hell, man? Why haven't you spent this money? Why haven't you spent... Why haven't you upgraded your castle with this money? He's just been sitting on his hands with this money. Yeah! Oh, I really, really want Merchant Republics. I, I so badly want... What the hell? That was a second... That was a second landed Joffring. Okay, well that doesn't count. What the hell does he have? Huh. Brand. You got this. I guess I might get a Joffring vassal. Neat. But, um, yeah, I really want Merchant Republics as a thing, because then that would mean that my, um... No, not really. He doesn't really know how money works. But, um... I really, really hope that we, we get merchants at some point. Or some sort of Republican system, because that would be so cool. I would, I would just, yeah, would be brilliant. Oh, thanks to all that money, can I give you this title again? What about Darwinian Pope? There is no. Uh, Darwinian doesn't have an organized religion, so to speak. Yo, he got two extra martial. Nice. Yes, give me more! Nah. I didn't get to Midas touched. Such a shame. Yep, and now I've got a... Joffering Vassal. Oh boy. 7k money for uh count. Yeah, yeah, that is that is a lot. Um Jeez. He's attacking. Dor Dorwinian people can get really it's it's um it's quite the the um how to explain it. Dor 
D Darwinian um, characters' power is it's kind of they have a, a some of the most potential in the mod for 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 power because they have a ton of development and um their their culture enhances it their culture lets them grow even more development their faith gives them even more stewardship and yeah they get two stu all of them get two stewardship for having this faith um however yeah development increases well just for having that faith that, that holy site help um i think the I think that the Kelduinic faith actually might have even more potential. Because they get one stewardship from Aule. Primacy of Aule. And then they get... Uh, where is it? There it is. Holy Sight of Dale. Stewardship per level of devotion. That's like two. That's, that's essentially just... That means that all people who, who follow this, relig this religion have at least two extra. Which is a lot. Of course, it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, Disillusion Faction. Beast, why does he look like that? Yes, there is an island in the Sea of Rune. Yes, there is. Um, <laughs> ah, the um, if, if you're on the I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not Dale in the MP. Only because see, I I play Dale in a multiplayer game. I don't really it's it's not an interesting like campaign to play in single player. Uh in a multiplayer game, it's interesting just because there's other people and they are powerful. They they have like potential and, and all that, yeah. Um but yes, yes, there is an island, the island of Egil Dorn, which theoretically is going to be potentially the, like, the goal that you can, uh, go and try to push towards as, um, Nalornia, which, I mean, is a pretty lame goal. It's, it, you don't really have, like, anything to do other than just take this single island. But, um, yeah, it's got this obsidian temple, which is... Uh, absolutely horrific thing. If the, the windswept Isle of Igildorn was once a place of great beauty, its havens and groves sacred to the Avaran elves who oft sailed they here from the eastern shore of the Sea of Rune. In a high cleft they hewed a temple into the living rock of the island, to which they came at times to offer their thanks to Manwe after the primitive fashion of their people. In later years, fell men with coarse tongues came out of the east, and the Avari came no more. Their groves were felled, and the temple defiled by blood and fire, by by fire and blood rite. Now its pitted walls seem made of night itself, save when the, they catch the setting sun and turn as crimson as a severed vein. For long centuries it has been home to one of the cruelest of runes, myriad cults. The dread rituals and macabre sacrifices made here in Kirkask's honor are too vile to be described, and their very rumor has chilled the heart of many a sailor in Rune's great inland sea. Uh, yeah, not, not every... Not everyone needs to do something as, like, an objective, yeah. Um, Nalorneath is definitely a good example of that, where 
uh there's there's really nothing canonically that they do ever so it's um it's a uh, kind of neat as a concept that they've got this this holy site um i don't think it's actually a... no it is actually a holy site i should i should get it <laughs> um it's a really good one too 10 percent upkeep cost Again, with your disillusion faction, chill. I can't, I can't convert your faith, but we, you know, you, you already consider us righteous. Like we should, we should be on good terms here. Come on now. Yeah, stop. Exactly. Well, they have so many men. He, he, what do you mean he's like not great? I don't know what you're talking about. All right, now I can I can I can do the other diplomatic mission now finally. Um, last gallon. Uh, <laughs> no, don't talk about that. Oh. Uh. Uh, yeah, I, I know, I know, but it's, I've been trying to convince people to let me make that a thing for a long time, like, well, not a long time, I've been trying to convince the lore master to, to let me do some stuff with that, but it's, Rather unlikely at this point that that's going to happen. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a cool idea. Dol Guldur has a lot of special stuff, yes. Uh, Dol Guldur gets a, um, an entire... So, yeah. Dol Guldur gets a mission tree to um, expand into, like, take over its de jure kingdom. Uh, then they get to subjugate some evil uh, humans around them. And then they get missions to uh, burn Lothlorien, subjugate the Anduin Vale, take over Last Gallon, and then even to subjugate Mount Gundabad. And uh, once you've done um, everything except Gundabad, Gundabad's an extra one, uh, you get to make uh, an Empire title. You, you change the Greenwood title to be called the... Uh, Dominion of the Sorcerer, and uh, you get to add all of that, the Northwest, uh, to your de jure. Similarly, the dude that uh, we were all talking about earlier, Huz Margaz, um, he gets to, um, if you play as him, you can turn all the 
the rest of the new northern area into a, an empire title. So yes, uh, Dolgaldur has special stuff. They they also have uh, spiders as uh, men at arms and whites. So that's cool. Uh, the spiders have art. He hasn't recruited any though. He's got bladed trappers, so yeah, that's cool. Spooters, spooters. Um, what do we do? She has arrived in Thranduil of Lascalan's court. Mm. Meditation. Bard. Bard. Bard this time, yes. Elven update is actually... Yeah, um... So... Ironic, I know, but, um... As it turns out, uh... The elves don't really have a lot that they want to do, so, um, like, in the case of Galadriel, she gets a decision for, uh, she, she gets to add, make East, East Lorien. She gets to make, turn this into the kingdom of East Lorien and, uh, uh, make a big old empire title here. And by big old, I mean really small empire title. Um, as Thranduil, you can unite the Greenwood and, uh, Get a huge, get an explosion of, of like conversion speed, so you get to like convert to Elven culture really quickly. Um, uh, the Beornings get to um, and just just any woodmen, any any of these um, woodmen or Veilmen get to um, they they can become the the Aldegana, which essentially just means all fane. So if you have all of the Anduin uh, if you own Langwell, uh, Beorning Kingdom, uh, with Drownholt accepted, yeah, with the exception of Drownholt, and, and, like, the exception of literally just, you know, you don't have to kill Radagast. Um, because he's here, by the way. Um, you, you also need Central Mirkwood. And then, you can add it all into one big old um, Aldegana Empire thing, which is pretty neat. Uh, and it leads you to a very funny situation that I really hope the, uh, players, I, I really, I really want the players in the, in the MP, uh, the good people. I hope that Nemcraft, uh, who's gonna be playing as Last Gallon doesn't become too paranoid and, and go full, full-on cranky Thranduil, because, um, um, <laughs> I really want them to try and, uh, play the partition of the Greenwood that, that happens in the, uh, in the actual lore. Because, well, essentially, you can unite the Greenwood and get, get a bunch of elven conversion speed, but he doesn't usually do that. He usually just sits up here, and that's hilarious because, canonically, what happens, and actually the game, as you can see here, this kind of pushes towards it, where the Bayarnings take the central part. Because... What you can do then, if you've got a multiplayer game, you can have Thranduil in the north, just cultural converting and, and like colonizing in the north. <laughs> you get you get um the Bayornings take the central part, and then you have Lorien take the south, and you just split it all up between you. Uh you just have to make sure that the the Bayornings don't um take the central kingdom out of Greenwood before uh Lorien takes Dolgaldur. Because if you do that, it looks extremely cursed. And you, because because you just have Last Gallon and Dol Guldur as part of this empire title separated by the, in the middle. Ugh. You wanted elves? Yeah? You wanted elves, yeah? They'll, then they'll be boring. We'll, we'll just, yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, if, if any, uh, those of you who are in the Discord, there's, there's a dev diary about Dol Guldur's mission tree where, where someone, where, where he essentially is like, I, so I hear you're here for elves. Well, too bad, because I'm, I'm Kamul and I'm gonna kill him. Yeah. Um. But yes, yes, I, I did, I did forget to mention that the, uh, 
What the hell is this? Is this a... It's a hybrid culture, great. Veilman Framling hybrid culture. Anuthia. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. But, um... Yeah, the Framlings start here. Um, and if you... They've got a they've got a whole quest line. It's, it, they, they got a bunch of decisions. And by a bunch, I mean two decisions. Um, where you... Essentially, you take the Karak Veil. So if you if you own all of the Kingdom of Langwell, and you take the Karak Veil, uh, then you can add the Karak Veil to your kingdom, and um, get a huge boost, like a really good buff, uh, to your to just all sorts of things. Um, and then you can uh, keep taking it further if 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 you. Um, Essentially, you control all of the Anduin and all of Kellanarthen. You get to unite the Aetheode, and uh, it will turn all Northmen. Essentially, you'll, you'll have like a 60% chance of all all uh, Northmen heritage counties in, in your empire, uh, or, or Aetheode heritage, um, converting to uh, the new Aetheode culture, which is really neat. Just ignore how cursed this looks with you seeing the penny culture. <laughs> just just kind of spreading in these small little pockets. But anyway, yes. Um, yes uh, it's the same. Looks like it's it's exactly the same for, for him. Return to Aetheode. Yeah, it's just, instead it's... You know, it's It's got return to monkey vibes, but instead of, be, of returning to monkey, you're, you're um, monkeying your way up. Monkeying your way back up. Not that the Aetheode were ever more than tribesmen anyway. Uh, nope. Yeah, theocracies aren't playable. Wait, more game rules. So, um, more game rules, I assume... I, I, I assume that means a mod? If you're talking about a, a, a mod that, that adds game rules that lets you play as theocracies? Um, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, it's a mod. Well, good for that, I guess. If you... Yeah, if you play with a mod, you could play as Radagast, just like... Just like if you know how to edit a single line of code you can change him to be a you can change him to to have a, a I don't know you could you could give him this duchy two lines of code then give him you you could give him that duchy and then make him feudal it would be you know same thing doesn't really mean much like is essentially you, you saying that the Radagast world conquest is pos is theoretically possible is is like what what's a good equivalent to that? That that I guess I guess that's like saying that Nah, I don't know. I I I've... You could be like, oh uh, no, it's not like the Ardenaim because you can actually play as them. I don't know what to compare it to. There's not much else silly that you could compare it to, really. Um, let's give him a banquet. So I hadn't seen that one yet. Please work. No, she failed! He's clearly not happy at all. He left with a frown. Jeez. Everyone always has to fucking depose this man. <sighs> no! He just... He just sends a dude. Great. <sighs> oh well. 
the Pope? Yeah. Has he recruited? Yeah, he's recruited rabbit riders. These are these are such a trash unit. It's incredible. I love how absolutely useless this man at arms unit is. I, I, they're so so awful. Well, yeah, like, like I said, I hadn't actually done this um decision before, so I, I assume it is just um levels of success would this woman stop i think it's her hmm. she keeps doing this stop Feast is good. I like feast. Uh, I don't know how uh, the stalemate's gone on so long. Maybe the changes actually did something. <laughs> yeah, the rabbits are pretty funny. Uh... Ah, he actually has a men at arms unit now. No wonder he's doing okay. Ret yeah, an alliance, huh? No. Please leave. Go away. I'm really scared to attack him, but I know I really should. <sighs> I mean, how many how many new Navari am I gonna need to recruit before I'm confident that I'm gonna win? Just as many as I can right now, I guess. So three more. Yes, yes, I know, I know, you like poems. There's... Who is this albino-ass elf? Sure. Join my court, funny man. <laughs> that's right. That's that's right. Uh, yep. Yep. The, the 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 rabbits are a bit of a a bit of a tonal. A uh, snafu. Hunt. I must, yes, I will. Obese. Uh, <laughs> I'm an obese elf. Uh, so is the husband. I don't care about this information. This is not worthwhile information. Excuse me. Hold on. Whoa. When did you get all these fuckers? 
Then why? Why did you gather so many chuckle fucks to, to your banner? That's so many people you gathered together for no reason. Yeah, no wonder I yeah, can't sway her anymore due to the war. No surprise there. Yeah, yeah, we're both real, real chunky. We've had a... Huh? What artifact? Oh, I've got his family's house banner. Hey. No, I, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna murder, yeah, um. Hmm. Meditate. Meditate. Ah, these poor fools. Door wind room battle axe. Great. Really? What happened now? Why do you abdicate? Take it back, you dumbass. Stop giving up your stuff. If you want to... Didn't you have a family or something? I swear you had a family. Or are you a different dude somehow? I'm spooked. Huh. Huh. This is the same dude. Does the Realm Master still have the chalice? The Laura... Face. Yes, he's got the Telperion chalice. He doesn't have the Laurelin one, though. That one's still under the sea. Under the sea. Can't make me a shield. Here. Store subjects, as usual. Of course. Of course. Now, now we're going to revoke all of you disloyal you annoying disloyal people. Apparently that was tyrannical. She revolted. What do you mean? Give it to the Joffrings. That's that's the that's the correct choice, of course.
Now they're not gonna revolt anymore. Yay! Oh gosh. really just okay screw this oh he i actually need money again or money again i've been recruiting so many new navari i i don't quite have as many as, as much a uh, piety income as i used to a little scared to see Ooh, two per month at the one of their raised. Uh, it's been a succession. Right. I'm definitely time to go. This war has been put off way, 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 way too long. And of course, the Joffring guy died. Great. Why was he... Why was he one of my knights? I have plenty of knights. Yeah, the fireside story. With these veerlings. Great, great. I didn't realize I had veerlings in my country. Ugh. Such annoying people. God, Elidan, why are you such a honk? Such a honking chunk of a man. Five thousand dead, three thousand dead, and still they've got more. Yep, more, ever more. Oh, but I captured him, and that's the story of how Nalornia came to rule a rectangular-shaped area of, of around the Sea of Rune. I see nothing wrong with this. Oh dear. Audrey Eggs. Oh, okay, just hand it out to everyone. There we go. There we go. Hand out all of this. All of this. It is a very distinctive shape, yes. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Ah, oh, I can feel the carpal tunnel coming. Ah! Oh. oh, my goodness. No! Why can't- why can't this holy war as elves just hand out this stuff automatically to local people? Oh, no. War. I want a guild thorn in the future. Uh, yuck. Oh, look what's happened to Medloshi Kane. Jeez.
Oh no, that's a lot of defense. I didn't even think about the fact that that's a lot of... Oh no, why are they all clan? Why are all the Audrey eggs down here clan? Hmm. That's so many people who I could give... That I could change contracts of. Oh. Oh, that's so painful. Ooh, in other news, the Drugic people expanded. Oh. No, I'm dumb. They just start owning this now. I forgot. Um, maybe for my own sanity, this is a good place to stop. Because, um, I don't feel, I don't feel like, a, I think I would die. I think I would just die if I went on a conquest spree going all the way. If, if I had to, to now go on a conquest all the way down to take Ray, Because, I mean, I've got, I, I can do it. I can. Uh, I've already got. I, I can do holy wars, and all of these people are evil faiths. You, you, seriously, you want me to right now declare all of those holy wars to get all the way down to take the Suza Sumar? Part two? There wouldn't be a part two. I'd never do a part two to this. I don't think I would. I'm not a big streamer, man. You, you, um... Uh, seven people is not something I'm ungrateful for. <laughs> Getting up to 20 people earlier was uh, was shocking to me, to say the least. So, that, that should put that into perspective. Huh. Uh, no. You know what, R R Rod? Uh, no. I'm gonna save it here. Big maybe on, on a part two. Almost certainly not, though. Um... Maybe sometime I'll do a custom Noldor character down somewhere, but um, maybe, maybe, actually, no, not custom Noldor, they'd have to be Avari uh, to actually rebuild the thing. Custom Noldor characters are so much fun. C custom Noldor characters are so great. Um, there's gonna be, like, Four different dev characters that are Noldor, by the way. House of Hammer. What's that? You're gonna make me look this up in a second. What is this? Is this, is this from Merp or something? Merp or, um, I guess it would be the RPG. No, Middle Earth Online. What is this? Well, I guess I can I can show off what making a custom character. Um, where did, where where should it be? Tell me. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a custom Noldor character, and you'll see you you folks anyone who watches the tail end of this stream or the vod can see what it looks like when you make a custom elf character, and um, maybe I'll even play for a bit. I I don't know. It's hard to say uh, how I'm feeling. But w what part of the map? Tell me a place. We'll stick them there. There's only one place I won't do it. Marjorak? Sure. Sure.
Or 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 the lonely isles. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. Atheland. Oh. Oh, but it's owned by this fucker. Uh, I can't do a felon though because it, it it's it starts owned by this guy. Depose straight up depose him, yeah. Oh god. No, if if Malo, if 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 I if I'm helping you make an emoji, it's it's the. It's the it would be the Tontaraki guy. It would be for it would be the Tontaraki guy meme. Where is where is that image? I need to go into my downloads and find the Tontaraki man. His fucking face is so stupid. I love him. The one Juke made? Oh, I've got that too, yeah. I need to copy these somewhere other than my goddamn downloads folder. This deserves to be straight up in the folder I've got. Yeah, that's a good one. Um... <laughs> uh, this is the one this is the this, this is photoshop this fucker this is not his face this is my face photoshopped onto him because this fucking this this jokester dude uh, here's here's his real face this is this is the dude it's not much better it's not much better wait that's the same one that's the same one! Where the fuck is the actual dude? Where is he? Oh, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, this is the real face. It's just the same one, yeah. This is his face! <laughs> well, where's the actual image? There we go. There we go. This is the image, and it's just called Black Numenorian. Black underscore Numenorian. This is a dude. <laughs> he's 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 scheming. I don't know what he's doing, but he's he's got schemes. Yeah, it's brilliant. I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn this thing into an emoji. He's <laughs> back now. Lonely What would I do from the Lonely Isles? Oh god. Oh, do it. Yep. I have done that so many times. But that, but I want to make a Noldor. You can't, you can't. Fuck, there's Elvin. Wow. 
There's a Noldor. Yes. I, I have done it. I, so many times equals twice. Yeah. That, that's actually the truth. Yes. <laughs> Diligent, arrogant. Stubborn, the average Noldor. And let's give him. I think we can give him Light of the Two Trees. I think that's how. Uh, I think you find that here. No, let's give him Mariner. Because why the fuck not? There's Light of the Two Trees. Yep. Um. Glorinian. Ah, that's the most. Absolutely bingus looking icon. Perfect. 25 years old, of course. It looks like he's thick as a steak right there. Noldor Sailor. Yeah. You know, typical, typical things. Yeah. Average Noldor things. Very, very Noldor thing, I know. So, um, this is what happened. This is what happened when you start as a custom elf. Uh, the elves, yes. I, I, I can remember so clearly my first years. Yes, he um, he is from before. Yes. I shouldn't get so pretentious. I at 25 years. <laughs> ah, they've changed the localization for this. That's brilliant. <laughs> it used to say that it, it used to be that the, the the bottom option used to just say I actually am X years. But this is way better. This is way better. Just being like I shouldn't <laughs> I shouldn't get pretentious. Yes. Oh my god, that that ah, the duchy, the duchy title there. The starlight before the rising of the sun. Whoa. Look at him. He's actually kind of weathered when you look at him. He actually kind of looks middle-aged. You know? Being that fucking old, he looks kind of... Kind of old. A little bit. By family and prayer. So, um, what it do? You, you get, um... You get to choose your age, and it um it converts the count the county, um that is your capital. Oh God, not look that way. Um, converts the county that is your capital into um holdings. Uh, because it, it makes your it changes it to your your culture and uh, religion. All twenty five year olds look like that. Yeah. How old do you think I am? How old? How old do I look? Yeah. Also, those um, we we we've got unique um. For some reason, we've got unique um holdings for no for like, the the high elves as well. So. Um, these here, like in Valinor, these are the max level, uh, high elven buildings. And um. You can see here is um the the tier one, so what the the really baby ones look like. PhD students. No, I uh, I actually played Nalorniath, and you just missed us. Uh, Taking the inland sea, and then I was really, really tired of it, so I stopped. Um, 
also, I, I am, I am 22. I am I'm 22 years old, and I am not a PhD student. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> Uh, I tried to go to post-secondary, but it did not work out so well for me. So, um, yeah, I am I am nowhere near that. I just happen to like history a lot and am surrounded by this... The, the, that sort of person. But, um, yes, uh, I will cheat to insta-build some, some holdings. Vibrant Elven Sanctuary inbound. Oh, heh. <laughs> I don't have this. And uh, if I take it, it's not gonna actually give it to me, is it? Yeah, it just gives it to someone else. Fuck. Can I actually revoke it from you, though? Um, yeah, and then you come into this problem. Now that they. You know, I've made them better, that's great and all, but the problem is, can't even make a single elven stronghold, because we've only got, yeah, currently using zero out of zero, you need three more elven holdings in your realm to increase this limit. Um, yeah, we've only got two. You need a full five elven, elv, uh, you need a full five, <laughs> um, elven... Sanctuary holdings before you can get hiccups again. Before you can get any um, strongholds. No, I'm not actually playing right now. Not really. Beard makes me older. Yes, yes, I do know that. Yeah. I look, I look older than I am. I, I look, yes, very different when I, I um. I'm completely shaved. But um yeah, here's here's the um the Noldor men at arms. They um they actually get um pretty fucking they they get a unique um siege unit, songsmiths. They straight up have mages that siege stuff. I need to I, I should um see uh i i should try and convince people to give them some actual like combat strength as well because they're mages yeah they they these are elves they're high elves with songs of power which is pretty neat um no she don't she don't get any because she is uh, given the Galathrum culture. She gets to have the same culture as the people she rules. So she does not get to recruit the Noldor units. Even though, I mean... You... you, you just... So, like... <laughs> the point is, if she, if she was given the Noldor culture, she would literally just have Noldor units. Yeah. She wouldn't actually recruit Lorien units. Um, every elf used to have it in the, um, you know, earlier, earlier versions. Um, every elf used to have songsmiths. But, um, now it's just, it's just the, um, the high elves. Um, so, um, yeah, Noldor men-at-arms be like this. Uh, Noldor swordsmen cost 400. That wasn't a bug, that was intentional. Um. That wasn't that wasn't a bug that got fixed. It was a it was a choice. It was a choice to um change it. But um yeah, we've got uh Noldor Swordsman, 20 dudes. Only 20 dudes per unit. They're just the most yeah. And yeah, it's it it's essentially the same. It's essentially the same all down their roster. Where, um, yeah, they're all effective. Oh wait, the archers aren't effective against monsters. Huh? It's only the swords and glaives. Yeah, but um, yeah, 
they they have the, the Noldor cavalry unit. Fifteen guys. Fifteen dudes. Only fifteen elves. And and they they have they they've just they're almost the same on a on a model like like number of men per unit as the new Navari. Yeah, they're basically fey levels of power at this point. Basically. So, we do have one Noldor unit with with artwork, the uh, Glavesmen do, which is pretty darn cool. <laughs> Noldor units even better than Mumakil. That's it. Now, now I need to. Yeah, N N Nemcraft. I need to become. I I really do need to try and become the dude who's in charge of men at arms. That needs to be my objective. I need to become the the de the dev who does all the men at arms stuff because <laughs> it uh <laughs> Mumix. Uh, what did he have? Any did wait? What what the hell? Doesn't he start with two? This is how you know I haven't played him since. Yeah, doesn't start with any anymore, and he can't recruit any. He has to he has to like buy them. Yeah. Which is fair, because they're, you know, stupidly good. Uh, yeah, I, I completely, you know, this is a, it's an easy thing. Yeah, he used to start with Siege Mumox, too. Um... Uh, the only people who can actually recruit them, the only people who can actually recruit them are people who build duchy, the, the duchy building down here. So. But yeah, yeah, they really are just elephants, yeah. Um, this image is literally just elephants, so. This, this image very much, it's, it, I mean, I guess they're, 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 they're supposed to be Mumox, but they're, it's just a picture of elephants. Because it's I'm pretty sure that's the base game. <laughs> no. No. Earlier start dates would not change the amount of men-at-arms. Um, I don't think we can. I, I think you need something else to actually build the the thing that the that lets you have Mumox. You need a cultural tradition. Yeah, Muma killed domestication. So theoretically, here's a big if, supremely big if. You know, we just diverge away from Finarfin. Um. Communal culture. The, the yeah, yeah. So we've got a new, you know, we got diverged from Noldor. No? Hmm. I thought it was something that could, it was like a regional thing that you could research if you're in a certain area. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's there. But it just doesn't show up for some people, so I guess yeah, it, it isn't it isn't cultural. It is a uh, or it isn't regional. It is just specific to some people. Oh.
well. I think, yeah, I guess I'm going to end the stream there then. And and then I've got, ugh, ugh, I've got people who want to do stuff with me in Discord? Jeez. There's one dude who wants me to teach him how stable diffusion works, which is weird. Because I didn't even... I wasn't the one who talked like that. Huh? Yeah. And you're here, too. Yeah, I, I see you there. All right. Well, it's, it's, it's been... It, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, more streams, of course, in the future. Um... Probably have to stream Warhammer when the Chaos Dwarves launch. <laughs> uh, I've started playing Warhammer again. I haven't been streaming it. I know no one watches that, but... Uh... But yeah, yeah. Um, thank you all for watching. Yes, I'm going to stream the Dev Clash. That's going to be good. That will be fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to sit and watch people. I'll get to sit as Nolaniath and, and watch people and judge them. Tell them that they, they are doing things wrong. And then proceed to not help. Yes. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye.